to hop on or he might hop on? I'm like 80% positive he'll hop on. Um, so I don't know if we want to announce it or something if I'm not 100% positive. Maybe we do like an alternate beginning where it gets cut <laughs> just, like, just like completely if he doesn't oh, show up. Idea. So, well, actually, it's good that you say that because my idea was since you are all suited up, all, 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 all handsome, like you should do some sort of introduction, professional introduction. I don't know if that's something that you uh, are going to do. I want to do good morning vietnam vietnam <laughs> well you never watched the robin williams movie no uh i've seen i've seen uh aladdin he's in that you've never seen good morning vietnam by robin williams never seen good morning vietnam by robin williams no not, my, not once in my life if you were to do like a guess if you were to like guess the synopsis of good morning vietnam is that the name of the movie is it called good morning i, why I know am I the asking uh, you this? i know the uh what's it called the um what's that movie where seth rogan kills the kim jong-un it is the movie oh the interview the interview yeah, yeah i've seen that one similar movie. that was funny that was, that was a that was a funny one too where it was like um like like sony or no like north korea literally hacked sony mm-hmm. and that movie put us in like a it wasn't World War Three. It was never going to be World War Three, but people would talk about it like it is. Yeah. That that fucking Seth Rogen and is it James DeFranco? James is that Franco. his name? James Franco. James Franco set us almost set us on a crash course with a war with North That's Korea. That's fucking hilarious, though. That's actually it's super funny. funny. Like death is just would have been great. Well, in traditional show fashion, I'm going to assume that we already started this shit. Yeah. So if you're seeing if you're seeing this part of the video, I don't know how the fuck we're going to cut. There might be a guest today. Let's just yeah. say that. Let's just not even the, the idea now is scrapped. I fucked it up too much. <laughs> there might be a guest today. Do you have the package I got you? I do. Do you want to do that now? Or do you want to do that? When do you want to do that? <laughs> we'll do that in a second. OK, yeah. do do your second intro and then we'll. Yeah, do say that it's going to be the same thing no matter what. So yes, no matter, there like, will at, not be a guest today. Yeah, <laughs> at this point, okay, okay, yeah. So, so okay. The first part of this this bit was if there's going to be a guest. Now, the next part of this is if there's not going to be a guest, and you're going to hear both of them. Okay, today on the regurgitated podcast, we uh, regret to announce the death of um, a soon to be guest of the show. Um, uh, our hearts go out. Our hearts go out to uh, who's more problematic than Andrew Tate. Sean. <laughs> yeah, our, our hearts go out to <laughs> yeah. Sean Ladidovich. Whoever that, the fuck. That is his last name, actually. Yeah, the, yeah. the Russian sleeper cell right. <laughs> posing as a right. fake Andrew Tate right. on our last episode. Right. I got I got suited up for two reasons. Number one, I did the news last time. I'm gonna do the news again this time, unless you object. Um number two, you gotta gotta take it up a little bit, right? You gotta get production value. When people want to click on a video, they don't want to see some some schmucks. You know what I mean? Like we've been doing this shit post meme format and I'm, I'm no longer schmucking it up, even though I okay. literally got too fat okay. for my suit and I didn't properly tie my tie. So I like the difference in me, my unshowered ass in a cup noodle shirt and Q in, in a fucking whole ass suit. We got any costumes you know? involved in this shit, huh? I got a pickle. Right I got costume. a haircut. I literally got a haircut. Yeah. 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 And no, no, yeah. it's good, dude. I mean, I, you were letting it grow out quite a bit, I think. Right. I was. I was trying to get yeah. my long hair again, yeah. but uh, I said nope. I yeah. said I committed. I was like Sean when he almost went bald, except for I went all the way, except for yeah. not all the way except bald, not all yeah. the way. Yeah, so not it's all all almost bald, nothing yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I see you. I feel you. So here, dude, I want to just. I'm going to preface the sh- the show. I'm going to call. I'm going. I'm going to go all the way to call it a show, and not a shit post. I like. I don't know if you know this, if for, for audio listeners. I like finger pointing. Now that I'm in the suit, I'm like. I'm doing action poses now. Yeah, dude, you're you're, you're showing Feel off. Feel free something. to roast me, by the way, for wearing a fucking suit to a podcast with two of you. It looks like <laughs> it, it. Genuinely, dude, a suit fits you very well. I wear a suit, and my shoulders Thank go you. out like this. I look like a box, bro. It's incredible. So business, can you put like the, like a business meme, like money coming down, and just like ooh. big business flashes business. That's something I did want to bring up is that I'm I noticed last episode after watching the premiere, I was like, every time Zach asks me to do something, I just am not doing it. And every time I have an idea myself, well, I, uh, that's I even it. funnier if you don't do it, though, unless <laughs> it's, like, a, bang, like unless it's like a genuinely banger idea. No, it's really funny to be like, hey, can you do this? Because I, I, I'm just joking because my yeah. brain's just yeah. going like, wouldn't it be funny if um and then it's even funnier for the editor to just not give a shit about what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's like that's literally. so in line with what the show is. Every time I bring up like, oh, I should do, you know, I should, uh, you know, whatever, I, whatever 
artistic thing I would bring up, I do it. And then whenever you're like, oh, play this song while I do this. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> Just go, nope. And it's, it's accidental. It's play it the most copyrighted music you could possibly play at this moment <laughs> right. right now. All right. Get us canceled now. Um, <laughs> but I, I want to start off the top because you, we had said last week, I don't know if it was on the podcast or after the podcast, after the podcast, when we have a little bit of like 20 minute conversation before we go to bed. It, if we spoiler that does happen we actually are friends i would say Maybe that's not that's 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 redacted oh, I have to cut that, to cut that? okay have to cut that yeah put it put, put we are we are and then put a, a fucking bleep yeah and, oh yeah <laughs> and, and it then has don't like the, do it actually right, now yeah right. because we've agreed now that that's funny <laughs> right right there you go um, it's a meta joke. Now, if anyone skipped to this like, point and heard me say that, they wouldn't get the joke. Like, that's, that's so many levels. layers. Yeah. yeah, we went like three levels in 20 seconds, yeah. dude. Yeah. Um, Can Joe Rogan do that? No, but he does. He does say he does say hydro, 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 What is it called? Hydrochloroquine? Something like that. Hydrochloroquine? I, yeah. yeah, ivermectin for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely some ivermectin, ivermectin. Yeah. But he hydrochloroquine, something like that. Yeah. Um. I. I. You asked. You said that we should come with bits because we don't, uh, you know, before we don't want the show to be boring and we talk and, you know, it's late at night and I get tired. It's, it's mostly me. I'll, I'll, I'll just take a sleepy boy. Part. I'm a sleepy boy. And then I, I just kind of like kind of doze off and I just do like the like sleepy funny things where it's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so he's a comedian, everyone. I'm just, a, I'm a, I'm a comedian. I got a huge <laughs> uh, comedy brain. So I have a huge cock. I, mean, I can't cock. think of the word. I have a huge cock. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> um, so you said to come, up, on that one. to come with bits this week. Yes. And I uh, did, for the record. Um, I was thinking about it for the last like week because I, I edit and then I try not to think about editing the next episode for a little while. And then I and then I like Thursday, Friday. So I was thinking about it pretty much since yesterday, what my bit could be. And I'm like, fuck, I don't know. Because I don't want to, I don't, I, I genuinely don't want to, I want to do something improv is what I mean, is what I'm, you know. So okay. I'm, that makes more sense so, than me writing scripted stuff and just performing it for you and then that's it. Well, the, 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 I am not good at scripting things. I could, tr I, I think if we do like with a stand up bit that we're going to do, I think next podcast, whenever that ends up being, um, I could do something like that where it's a very big contrast between, me and you, you having done this before me, having not, that is something that I would definitely be in for it. But improv is kind of my bread and butter. I like to just shoot the shit and make something funny out of it. And I don't really play improv games or anything like that. And I thought that could be something we could do. And then I had another idea that is a little bit more preparation on my mm. part. Is, Did you pr prepare for whatever this is for this episode? No, or is this a future idea? It, but, mm, we create an in-depth concept for a song and then i write the actual lyrics and record the song for next week for next podcast yes it's funny you say that because i definitely hired someone on a for fiverr for a joke song recently yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, got to, I would i would play it but there's no is the the context is very quite missing from this yeah, yeah joke yeah. song i could share it with you after that i mean or fucking whatever so i don't, I don't um, want it to be my, my yeah. thought my thought was like this could be a five minute segment where we, where we say the beetle went to the floor and and took some dung and rolled it it's like you're talking about yes ending a story but it gets turned into a song bang bang and i want i want it to be uh a, a, a ridiculously in-depth concept for a song that means nothing that is kind of what my my goal is okay um, well, how that was about one this? of my ideas go ahead so so this actually wraps up Perfect, because the gift that I bought you is supposed to be for content. But I think if we open it up and see what that content is, it could be inspiration for a song. Is, that, is this like a segue into me opening it up now, or do you want to wait? That's what I was suggesting. If you want to wait, feel free to wait. But it'd be really funny well, if you're I like, yeah, no, I didn't black out my address, yeah. and I don't want to censor it. Let me rip it off. Well, now he's going to... Come on, guys. Uh, welcome to the show. What the fuck is this? It's on my phone. I don't. I don't know what this is. Oh shit! He like he, he opened. He was, was going yeah, I didn't yeah, want to open it from the package because it had my address on it. Your <laughs> address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this it. is so this is my idea of content. You were bitching and moaning at me for weeks, going, "Please buy me something. Please buy me something." 
There's more. And actually, I did buy you something that was genuinely for content that'll come in next week. This, though, this is my idea of content for this week. What the fuck is this, dude? What is this? That's that's content. It's our new mascot. All right, let me let me record this going across my desk, going across my fucking DGen desk. It's our mascot. Oh, that's a good. It's a it's a it's a possum in a peanut. <laughs> Let me record this going across my desk. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dude, my thing's my money hard at work. I have I have oily I have oily skin, so sometimes my 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 thing gets a little bit oily. Tell you what else gets a little bit oily. That was pretty the sick. Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the thing about it, I like this, and I don't know where to put this. I can tell you where to put it. It looks like a rat. It doesn't look like a possum. I mean, it kind of looks like a yeah, possum. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was a little rat in a in a peanut, but I guess possum in a peanut makes more sense. So how do you want to make that in the content? I, I mean, that we, was the t- I just recorded a 10-second video about going across my desk. Does that count? <laughs> can we just upload that on Clip's channel? Yes, that alone. <laughs> just the video? Yeah, so if, if, if you guys aren't familiar, there's a, a, a second channel to this um, where there's, a, there, there's Clip's. And then more people watch clips, so I guess um, this isn't going to go on there, but let's pretend that it is for a moment. There's also an actual, like, two-hour-long episode to this shit. Mm. And um, and I'm thinking, let's just post the possum going across the table on yeah. clips and see how Honestly, many views that gets. With, with, as far as the full podcast goes, I think we should just cut out uh, um, all, all but the, what I just recorded. Is that fair? So, like, 20-second podcast? Yeah. Um, I figure I mean, okay. it's the best part, right? And then we just like super cut our guest in. We, we, can, do like, we can do like a we can do like a deleted scenes like on the on the reflux <laughs> channel. Yeah, on the no on the DVD copy <laughs> yeah, yeah, deleted yeah. scenes. Uh, dude, holy Has shit! Has a podcast ever done that? Have they ever released a box set? Yeah, I'm sure. Like, can I buy all of the Joe Rogan Experience episodes on DVD? No, dude. Each each Joe Rogan, aren't they like? Don't they <laughs> get like excessively long? Eighteen wheeler to your house. Yeah, they're like this show. They're like incredibly long, and no one yeah. ever listened. Well, no, yeah. it's not true. <laughs> but like, if you were to Press order a game. box set, if you were to order a box set of all the of all of the Joe Rogan Experience episodes, they they would send a, a Mack truck eighteen wheeler to your home and dump the copies on your lawn. How many copies do you think there would be for a box set? Do the math. How many episodes are there? It's like, like over a thousand, right? Yeah, so just a thousand DVDs. One per DVD? Yeah, one per DVD. Okay. Yeah, it's like okay. a movie. Well, like a feature length movie is what, an hour and a half long? What if you like lower the quality and then you, you like put more in a DVD? <laughs> Four eighty P rips of the Joe Rogan Experience <laughs> podcast just, just, can honestly, dumped what, on your front lawn. What we should do, future meme. Hey, future uh, me twenty. This is probably, a future meme. This is future you don't understand meme. this meme yet. Hey, so future meme. Uh, what I'm gonna do uh, next a year from today is I'm going to take a podcast, maybe the first one, maybe this one, and I'm going to convert it to a VHS, and I'm gonna play a, the VHS in the background. It's gonna be pretty sick. I could do that for you. That was literally well, you did my, the opposite, like, didn't business. You? It was VHS? To yeah, DVD. yeah. I'm sure I it wouldn't be hard for me to go. The, uh, I go both ways. Well, it doesn't I feel like VHS is would be very hard to re-record? Am I wrong? Uh, over. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to. No, say it. No, say it. <laughs> what, what's the what is the what is the manual process of putting a DVD on a, on a VHS? Because there's the actual on a well, VHS there's actual images. Yeah, um, I'm 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 sure. So, like, you get a VCR player, potentially one that has an input associated with it, too, because back in the day, people would also hook it up to their TV so they could record TV programming. So, like, for some context here, I ran a business for a while where I would transfer in, uh, I would transfer VHS tapes and different other tapes to people, uh, to digital formats for them, preserve memories, all that stuff. And so, like, if you buy a lot of the old VCR players had an input, right? Because people would record TV because before DVR existed and streaming services existed, that'd be the only way you could watch something that wasn't live. Um, in fact, the reason, one of the main reasons why VHS 
players took off or VHS tapes took off um, as like kind of the mainstream format of video was because you could tape over your TV. Whereas if you mm-hmm. bought it, you know, the other forms of tape players did exist, but they couldn't connect to you like your TV in that way. So you would probably, I would just need to find a way to like have my computer have an RCA output, which I'm sure isn't hard to do some adapter or something and I'd plug it into a VCR oh, player yeah, and run yeah. a tape to record over it. Yeah. Um, it would be significantly more work than the other way around. But if you really, if you really, if this is the content you want is for me to logistically think through how to, how, how do VHS players work? You want me to go through how people made VHS tapes before that can be this show. So this is a, this is a, uh, a, a, a teach a learning moment for the viewers at home of what you can do with a VHS, a VCR, VHS, DVD, RCA, AC, if, AV. If our guest does come on, their fans are going to have to scrub through so much fucking nonsense through us just pre-planning. We're hyping up this gift and you open it up and it's possum and a fucking peanut. <laughs> and then we're just talking about VHS tapes forever. Dude, this is, uh, dude, but here, dude, here's the thing. It's beautiful. We gotta get it's the time stamps thing. on this one. Right, like, dude, definitely. In, yeah, actually, quick. that reminded me, I didn't do the timestamps on episode seven. You know, a little background. Yeah, I do the timestamps on episode seven, but it takes so fucking long that I just give up it on it. It does take so through. long. At, le- at the very least, at the very least, when this video goes up, just throw a timestamp down there of like when the guest comes on, if they ever do. Come on. Yeah, right, right. This is the only important part. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hi, production. Yeah, you, you have to re record that for the, for the other side if, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, how, how would you say the opposite of that? I don't even know. Tiananmen Square didn't happen. Social credit points off off the roof, dude. Okay, that's no, that's true. I actually kind of agree with that. Tiananmen Square is the one with the guy in front of the tanks, right? Yeah, Tiananmen Square is um, that that children's song about sharks that was played at the Super Bowl. You're talking about Baby Shark. <laughs> oh, did I confuse the Tiananmen <laughs> yeah, Square massacre with thing. Baby Shark? Different thing. The, that's the thing about uh, the thing about Baby Shark is that it's not even the best of the kids' songs. I'll say it. What is the, what is your what is the best kids Johnny song? Johnny yes papa eating sugar no papa telling lies no papa open your mouth ha 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 that's the best one with it it's not even close You kind of don't you kind of look like the father from Johnny Johnny yes papa or am I hallucinating I am not going to confirm or deny who I look like Look like a big pussy, according to Andrew Tate last episode. <laughs> that massive pussy. Don't don't misquote him. He'll sue you. Massive pussy. Yeah, you got to get it's all the money Donald from Trump me. way. It's a massive pussy on everything, bro. The most beautiful, biggest pussy you've ever seen. <laughs> the most beautiful, dude. We had an episode Look at my of Andrew beautiful Tate. Pussy over there. The day after we had an episode of Andrew Tate, gone off everything. Even Roblox. Throw the tweet up. Throw the tweet up of saying massive regurgitated W. I'm telling you, dude. It's fucking insane. I think, Although I think I'm, con- I'm concerned watching. that the t- Susan would jiggy Susan. Yeah. Well, I think watch Miki. I don't. I don't know. Watch. 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 Mojo. Mike Wazowski. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> watch the CEO of YouTube, yeah. Susan Watch Mojo. <laughs> yeah. um, it gets perma banned. Although yeah. I'm concerned with that because again, just to make this a whole podcast about SEO, fucking YouTube shit or whatever, you would think that that would be perfect for content. Because when we talked about Andrew Tate before, they got a ton of views. And then, you know, people on the videos that blew up would, in the comments, randomly bring up Andrew Tate, as we discussed before, unprompted. And so then we make a whole Andrew Tate parody episode, and we upload the first one the day after he gets banned. You would feel like it'd be great news. And maybe it's on me for not, like, tagging it properly or whatever, but it just gets, like, stifled on views. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe YouTube is, like, being like, this is problematic, let's shove it under the rug. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe they're just afraid of how much freaking money we would make if we were... Big, That's big true. Shot they boys. know that we're racist, that so they're trying to like kind of <laughs> silence us a little bit. They know that they, they 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 know that if we actually get popular now, there is a back cataloged video of a ton of just saying women can't drive. Which, by well, the way, yeah. there's context for. In case you're unfamiliar with this, we did not just unpromptly say women can't drive. We had a, a, a parody of a very problematic person on this show. I mean. I mean, Andrew Tate is right about everything he says, so it's not. We talk about like towing the line with comedy a little bit, and we like we we make <laughs> Push very boundaries. yeah we make Too very challenging for you. Well, we make it very we make very ironic, and uh, you know, uh, and if you just don't get it, you're the problem. Yeah, you're the problem. We make very yeah, context context driven jokes. 
Where if we were taken out of context, it, we'd look like shitheads. We'd look horrible, dude. If some of the well, that's stuff the whole that we say, the Clips Channel is just right, taking everything out right, of context, right? Which it, is doing far better than this shit, mind yeah, you. Apparently, truly, it, it absolutely is. But you know what? The thing is, if even if say that proportionally, we made like we got like a thousand times the views on both channels. Sure, we would still be making more money on this channel by far. Because of watch time. But the watch issue time. is, is this would have to qualify for um, qualify for monetization, which is a thousand Ooh. subs. Or like yeah, so like, it's weird because, like, yeah, because like the because the the long form would have to get to a thousand subs, which appears to be happening much slower. The yeah. clips channel would have to get higher watch time, which was much slower because the bulk of the views come from YouTube shorts, which don't count to your, towards your monetization views. So whatever. We're trying to get paid, Susan. Susan, look into my eyes. You subscribe. Damn it. The thing about the if thing you're watching about this it, video, don't subscribe. Susan, I'm talking to you. <laughs> we, you subscribe. Honestly, dude, Susan, Sue, if I may. Um Susie Listen, Lou. If you see a like a like maybe like a few thousand subs just come through, maybe a, maybe a few million views just come through on, on throwaway. No accounts, comments. Don't worry about it. No comments. Don't worry about it. Just it's between me and Sue. I think we are on a first name, right? No, no worries. We're all good. We're all good. You know what I mean? We're, 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 we're fucking spaghetti, dude. You know what I mean? We're <laughs> spaghetti. We're fucking lasagna, dude. <laughs> we're fucking lasagna, dude. Me and Susan, we're like two bolognese and one <laughs> ravioli. So we always have this bit on, on, or we have like a little uh, conversation about the channel, how it's doing every, every episode. And I like having those people are very invested in, as you can see right. from the ones of you and the, if this goes anywhere, I, I, it's going to be nice to look back and be like, we had 11 or 12, 13 subscribers at, you know, back then. And we were talking about like having that, that few subscribers. And now we're at trillions. That's next year, baby. Um, It'd be hilarious if it didn't happen. If there's just this big backlog of episodes and yeah. all of them are us talking about how this next, how this is going to do in the future. One, and then it just never happens. This next one's going to hit. It's going to bang. This next one's going to hit. This next one's going to be, it's going to be fire. great, dude. It's going to uh, be great. I, this I, next one? This next one, though? Yeah, that one's going to be pretty good. Next one? Episode nine? Going to gonna go, going to pop off this episode? Trash. Mid. Nine's my awful. lucky number. Oh, dude. Mine's a, 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 a B. That was a really stupid yeah. joke. I want to cut that. I want to cut that. Can we cut that? <laughs> no, you got to go back and white slow-mo now. My uh, favorite number yeah. is B. Oh, I, I, we do have to do a uh, reading mean comment, but the thing is, we read all our comments, so it's like it's uh, the, the we've already, yeah, we've of already it. discussed all of our comments. <laughs> well, I, put up I the think, guy, put up the motherfucker in the comments last week who, from the clips channel that was talking about brother praying and stuff. I don't know. It's not not even any common, no commentary on him. Just put it up on the screen. Look at it. Look at this shit. Yeah. This that, is that, this a, is the comment of a guy who truly watched and comprehended the video. That shit is crazy that that he commented that straight up. Like I'm pretty I'm sure it's just a, a guy who's spamming. I don't think it's a bot. I think it's just a guy who has like a religious channel or something, and I think he's like trying to spam. Yeah, it um, could be his message everywhere. I think that that was a pretty good message. But what, what did you like, like about it? Um, I like that he mentioned our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I think that's really important. And I also think that preaching the gospel and preaching the good word is, is, a, is a really powerful thing that you can do to people online. And people dude, really take it seriously every time. God can freaking lick my taint, dude. dude God, God, God can get it, honestly, on, a, on a, some real shit. God can <laughs> fucking get it. If God was born in 2004, he'd be an e-boy. No, if, it, no, if God was born in 2004, he'd be a fucking Valorant pro. I'm telling you right now, he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like no cap, you're fucking dead, kid. I'm going to smite you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> if God was born in 2004, he'd be MLG Fortnite player <laughs> yeah. hitting the gritty yeah. with a Goku skin. Dude, but he, he wouldn't do zero build. He would do the, the one where you build, as we all if know. If God was born in 1998, he'd start the regurgitated podcast. Is that one of us? Were you born in 1998? Uh, yeah, me. Uh, me when were brother. you born? I was born in 96. If um, Rosie O'Donnell was born in 1996, she would start the regurgitated uh, podcast. I don't like being equated to Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it what 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 did she do? Why does nobody talk about her anymore? Is it just because time? 
Yeah, I forgot. Like, I, I, for some reason, I had her confused with Roseanne Barr, and I do kind of understand she what happened canceled. to Roseanne Barr. Yeah, do. Oh shit! Have you seen the video with her take on Donald Trump? No. Rosie O'Donnell did some whack shit and got canceled for it and tried to justify it with like prescription drugs. Rosie she was O'Donnell or Roseanne Barr? Roseanne Barr. Okay. Did I say Rosie O'Donnell? You did. <laughs> okay. Refresh. Okay. We're going to need to pull up a clip for this at some point. Yeah. I do genuinely want to put this <laughs> in. Um, maybe I'll throw you a YouTube link in a second here. Roseanne Barr was canceled for saying some whack shit, which she justified by saying she was on Ambien and was overprescribed by a doctor, which has been supported by science. But also people argue it being like you shouldn't still say that stuff. And it that means you thought of something. I'm not here to talk about any of that. What I am here to talk about is Rosie O'Donnell's take on um, if Donald Trump should be president. I'm, I'm going to find this clip for you. We're going to live. I'm going to have you live react to this here. OK, okay. is that OK? I'm totally Hold down on. for that. A better okay. take than Anderson Cooper, a better take than Tucker Carlson. Oh, I'm watching the stream. Cool. You think so? You think this is better? So I just wanted to get your take. This, is, this the, is better than Anderson Cooper and Tucker Carlson. Yeah, if you're on the right, you'll you'll probably agree that this is a better take than Tucker's ever said. If you're on the left, I think you'll probably agree that Anderson Cooper fucking um, who else? I don't know. This is uploaded to her, her personal YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's verified, but yeah. You know what I think? You know, discuss amongst yourselves if you don't agree. You don't really have to burn me. We're going to discuss. If we're not yeah. She probably is. Me, but let me just throw out one idea. She's and just I throwing out ideas. She's chucking them out. The hungry dogs in the street have enough meat as not to come after <clears> me <throat> for thinking. And speaking. You know it's good when you have to preface it this much. Of it. But... I have this to say as follows. As follows. It's okay I say it because nobody lives a fucking thing I say, which is great. It's good. I'm tired of being monitored. I feel that. Directed and shit. Fuck it. She going to get to the point? I'm going to say what I'm going to say. She's going to say what she's going to say. Trump. Trump. Hear me when I say <sighs> this. Trump is, in my opinion, the first woman president of the United States. <laughs> I thought you were going to do the Simpsons theme song for a second there. <laughs> the I thought you were doing bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. what the fuck is she doing at the end there? Why did she keep it going that long? I don't know. Was that all she said? It, I mean, I, I, I was, why do you have Nazis in your recommended video? Uh, because well, probably because of the propaganda that I watch normally. Yeah, probably because of the uh, yeah fucking Nazis, the Nazis, Nazis that I watch. on YouTube. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, um, <laughs> what I was. What do we that, look like? A freaking leftist? Let's let's actually, let's talk about that real quick, and then I have a, I have another subject that I'd like to talk about. We've yet um, to make a song, but I yes, agree with Roseanne. I, agree. I also agree with Roseanne. I don't support Donald Trump, but he is the right. first woman president. I do of the support United women. States. I do support women. <laughs> Just I not that one. Women. Just not that one. Just not, <laughs> not that woman. Not Donald Trump. I think we can all get behind get behind the statement that Donald Trump is a bitch. What we went there, Donald Trump is a bitch. Donald Trump is kind According of according to Roseanne Barr. Donald Trump her own is words. a hoe. Her own words, allegedly. Her own her, allegedly in her own words. Allegedly in her own words, a bitch. That Donald <laughs> Trump is <laughs> bitch. Um. Do like so, a yeah. little rap music video thing? Just yeah, well, the- most likely what I'm going to be creating is rap. So it's good that you have those so I can like use those <laughs> in the music video. You know what I mean? Uh, possum in a peanut. Don't you want to see it? I uh, Coming at you with the onomatopoeias. Oh, my God. I'm going to yeah. jerk off, dude. That's fucking sick. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's let's I'm going to well, we can start writing the song. Oh, wait, what did I want to say? I don't remember. All right. I'll try to start writing the song. I'm going to open up Notepad. I feel like this whole thing is being recorded. When do you say that? <laughs> All right. All right. How's the song going? Let's start this shit. This um, is going to be chopped up to shit, so don't worry about dead air or anything. I hope our guest joins mid yeah. this yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> All right, give me, give me, give me, what's the possum and a peanut? Do you want that to be the song name? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
my awesome. best friend is a possum in a peanut. Okay, my best friend. Okay, my best friend is a possum. Is a possum in a peanut. Okay. Okay. Good. Yep. Um. Uh. Wh- what is the possum? Where does he go? Or what is what is what is special about the peanut? What's special about it's a car? Is, okay, peanut, peanut, peanut is a car. Okay, peanut is a, repeat three times. Peanut is a car. Peanut, peanut is, a, is car. a car. Okay, 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 okay. So my best friend is a possum and a peanut. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. Okay, good so far. Pretty good so far. What else? See what else? So. Where does the car go? Does he have like a daily job that he would go to, or like does he like go to the park well, with his kids? With peanut. Or I'm with peanut. Um, I said to see it. See, see it. See it. Yeah, peanut. better than a Fiat. Fiat. Ooh, riding in my Fiat. You know, I see what you're saying. So, peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. And if you got this far, and if you got let me this give far, you a bar. You Roseanne got Barr far. said, <laughs> "Let me give you. Oh, that's really good. Give you a bar. Ro, ro, uh, Trump is a woman. Is a says woman. Roseanne, Roseanne Barr. Barr. Okay. So so far, kind of a banger. My b- okay. A guest is actually preparing to join in a minute. So I'm gonna say give give us five. Okay. Hold okay. On. Okay. We got. I, five. He's gonna love this. He's gonna love this. Well, bar and bar don't um, really rhyme though. I mean, it's a different bar, I guess. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, uh, like, we're playing Mario Kart. I'm picking up stars. Oh, we're playing Mario Kart. Okay. Playing Mario Kart. The possum Kart. doesn't see us. The possum doesn't see us uh, driving faster than a Fiat. Driving. Oh my God! You're a you're a you got bars, bro. I do got I do got bars. I don't know how to spell Fiat. A Fiat, sure. That does, yeah, that's, that's good enough it. for me. Um, driving faster than a Fiat. He uh, uh he kind of nasty though. Wants to sell feet picks. Oh, he kind of <laughs> he kind of icky though. <laughs> wants to sell feet picks, and then and then and then uh and then uh, how about is, this? Is a, is, that. is a lightweight. Only takes three hits. Okay. You we're gonna leave this here. You write at least three more lines okay. of this okay. and come back with a produced version. Okay, That's okay, okay. it for this episode. That's the teaser. Possum in a peanut. Okay. Dude, that's gonna be the best bit we have. I'm just saying. That's gonna be the best one. Can you just imagine me on a rap beat or on like an R and B beat saying "peanut in a car, peanut in, or peanut is a car, peanut is a car, peanut, peanut is a car." Peanut in a car, peanut in a car, dude. My best friend is a possum in a peanut. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a this car. This is gonna be the worst rap ever. Actually, what if it gets ten billion views on YouTube? What 10 if it's billion? The new like, style? like some Gangnam Style shit? Yeah, dude. I'd be, yeah. I'd, what if I'd it's love the, that. what if it's the new baby? Shark to do to do to do Johnny no again ta ta da Johnny I'm still bitter yeah I'm still bitter that Johnny Johnny yes Papa is in leagues better than whatever the fuck baby sharks are going on I forgot to put up a ten hours of YouTube white screen dude honestly do do instead if you're gonna do it do cream cream is kind of based. Gonna spit again. Ten hours of. Cr- I should look. Oh, look this show is so funny. Watch this. Oh. That's it, dude. That's the what? one. That's the one. So I you're do, saying I should look up? I, I do. It's three hours of cream. Screen. Hours of cream scream yeah. screen. Yeah, I got that up. It, it, it looks better than white. My face was so washed out with white. It wants me to look up horse cream. That's not good. You are on the wrong site. That is not the right those, site. That's one of those COVID. Um, that's. Mm. The white kind of looked better. I feel like. On what about this beige? Looks a little what if I did red. blue? As a contrast to the. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Hold on. Dude, this is this is what we call live color correction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real, 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 real high tier on my yeah. Xbox. Real high tier, <laughs> real time color correction. Yeah, 
what, what's gonna suck? I think actually, if you if you look up um, the stats on Spotify, it's not like oh, well, this is an ad. Um, it's not like there's a couple people that actually listen to it, and like they must be really confused. That's a little too much. Yeah, well, a little too bright. I, 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 but there's light blue. Yeah. It looks like you're at a computer, uh, which is what you're at. Uh, I listened uh, to the podcast on the train. I went to New Jersey last weekend. You look like you're in the ocean. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. I mean, what, what if I what, just did? What if I just did this slow? What if I just did this the whole time? I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just looks it just weird. Changes. Yeah. <laughs> Good bad. luck color correcting that shit. <laughs> oh, this has got to be it. That? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. What is it? Baby blue. Baby blue. Ten hours of baby blue screen. Yeah. Um. So I went to New Jersey last weekend, and I I hopped on the train and I listened to episode seven on the train before it was out, dude. My dedication. The reason I said to you earlier last week that I'm like, I need to just not have a deadline in my head because it bothers the fuck out of me when it doesn't hit the deadline. I was on the train on team viewer on my phone, trying to render the video at home. That's insanity. That's an insane person thing to do. Right. You were rendering what on team viewer. I was rendering the podcast on team viewer. So I, I would take a chunk hit render on team viewer on my phone with a touch pad with, you know, touch screen. Oh, your remote computering. Yes. You're literally yeah. editing on your phone. Dude, that's like an ad. Remember when the PS Vita first came out and mm-hmm. there were all those ads of people like gaming on the go mm-hmm. and it was like supposed to be the DS but for like real competitive gamers. Yeah, yeah. That's like what you're doing but for video editing. Right. It was not good or fun in the slightest, I got to say. It was horrible. Um, oh, yeah? But that is that is some major dedication I have to get that video. And I got it out. It's good to start and stop renders, I guess, but to actually edit yeah. itself must be I got out. challenging. I didn't edit that much. It was very, but I had to edit in chunks because the rendering <laughs> problem that I'm so having fun for the fact smile probably so I'm not going to get from here because I am a cuck. Um, clip it, clip it. I'm a cuck. Children rather, watch this show, Ben. I'd, I'd rather just get it out now than have a guest here. And my, his first impression of talking to me. Is oh this is the fartor guy the fart the little farty bear <laughs> this is the fart guy yeah no, I'd, rather, I'd rather avoid that I'm incredibly <laughs> to an unfortunate degree dedicated to getting the show out in a timely manner I I when I got, better, you, I'll give you this you're more consistent than I would ever be I hate it I just think I just think it sucks that the software is what's slowing you down it is the software way. it's and it's awful and you are right that I should not be using the software and I agree with you and you know what's really sad. Is that I thought on the train, I was like, this is really annoying. I can't deal with this anymore. And instead of thinking in my brain, I actually have to just use Premiere. I was like, I'll just get the new Vegas. Why did <laughs> I think that? That's insanity is what that is. Well, so 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 my whole thing is like, if you came to me and you were like, hey, cause like we're, we're, we don't have a massive, we don't have a, we don't have a fan base right now at all. We don't. So like if you, <laughs> well, okay. Well, we have a massive clips channel fan base. Right. They're yeah. fine. They get yeah. videos every day. Um, if you came and you were just like, I got too much shit going on or I just, you know, I didn't think about it or whatever. It's not going to happen this week. I go, OK, I wouldn't even think about it. But the fact that it's just like the software messing up all the whole time. I'm like, come on. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? I know it's so aggravating. It's crashing again. Yeah, it's so fucking aggravating. And the weird thing is, is I had no issue with episodes. So do we get into the sticks of this or is it? Is, I would I would make a project a very specific way. I had I'd, I'd have to manually change the project, uh, and it would render fine and for like a few episodes in a row, no problem. And then it just started crashing every, rendering. And now it's crashing, saying I don't have enough uh, RAM. And I'm like, I know I have enough RAM. That is a foolish thing for you to say. Uh, but yeah, it's it's fairly annoying, and I have to just render in chunks. So I was yeah I was doing that on the train. I got to Alexis's house. I was I was on team viewer on her computer trying to trying to finish it up and upload it i uploaded it from her house on her team viewer with my computer on at home you just um, left your computer on all weekend yeah i did just uploading shit i did and i i left smart. my door closed because my might old the, man might not be the pissed. right thing to do but it's yeah. smart my dad my old man would have been pissed so I, I mean i turned off all my monitors on my tvs and shipped her off it was just the computer on but um my, my old man would have been 
fucking rip shit piss if I if I, he knew that. Um, would have fucking ripped my ass. Would have ripped my asshole right open, brother. Um, but dude, I'm so annoyingly dedicated. And that's why I have to like not set a deadline for myself because it will actually bother the fuck out of me if I don't reach it. It's very annoying. Um, deadlines are good. Deadlines are good. Not if it's not something that important. <laughs> I mean, as much as I True. love, as much as I love doing this. Well, it's what, it's what is important to you. If doing something that's important to you, you set well, a deadline the, the, for it. That's, the, that's it. the piece of it where it's like, logically, I know that it's not providing me any revenue. It's creative. It's a creative thing that I really like and enjoy doing and making. But the, it's not going to horribly affect my life if the video is out three days later. It's going to have the same amount of viewers. Nobody's going to bitch in the comments. It's really not that important. But... um yeah, I mean, uh, it's just I, I get really annoying about it. And like I get annoying about other shit when it comes to YouTube, too. Like I had to like you you made a um, a description and I was like, I need to capitalize the proper downs. <laughs> well, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That way, But it was just, it's like, like, why the fuck am I like that? Like, why do I, well, do I, I, I like the um, like learning about like the YouTube mm-hmm. SEO stuff and, and like figuring out what works and doesn't work. But when it comes to actually writing shit, I'm just stupid. It's just my yeah. brain doesn't, doesn't yeah. work. So. Well, yeah, I mean, th- it's just annoying that I'm like, I see the word Twitter and it's not capitalized. And I'm like, fuck, man, got to capitalize it. And I think reflux wasn't was the not- logo for Twitter. Didn't that used to be a yeah. lowercase T? Yeah. yeah. And I think you can you can uh, I think tweet is now a real word, not a proper word. If I'm not mistaken, you can you can write because well, it's a verb. It's a verb and a noun. Yeah. 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 And so in its noun form. This is an amazing podcast, by the way. I'm in a suit and I'm talking about how to properly, gr- grammatically, yeah. correctly use Twitter in a sentence. Mm. In its noun form, Twitter deserves a capital. Right. In its verb form, well, if, you do, go do, fuck yourself. Would you capitalize, like if you Googled something, would you capitalize that? I think Google as a noun, you would capitalize. I think if you're going to Google something, that would be a uh, lowercase. Dude, you're blowing my mind right now. It's like when Sean said that ketchup's more viscous than honey. That blew everybody's mind. Everybody was like, holy blew, shit. Every, everyone, everyone subscribed immediately. They were like, <laughs> like Yo, what the fuck? We got a really? real fucking scientist on this show. <laughs> that's so, that's so funny. Dude, Sean is so dumb. Can I let's talk let's, let's talk shit about Sean for a little bit. Yeah, okay, you are closer with this man than I am. I feel you can talk I, as much shit you, as you want. I, I'm happy if you talk shit about him. Fuck that kid. Listen, but, listen. Well, how does he feel about me talking shit about him? Dude, I hope that he hurts. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing about Sean. Here's the thing about Sean that I fucking hate is that we'll be playing a game. This happened, and I might have told you the story. We were playing Lasso, Legendary All Skulls on All Skulls on on Halo Reach. Last level, the most important part, you could say, of the game. Last section of the last level. And Sean is just in a corner playing his guitar. I love that we got him on a on a on a show. We got him on the fucking podcast thing here and he just plays guitar. I actually really like it. I think it fits I the find fucking it funny. nonsense I, nature of this thing. I I find it I I mean, truth be told, I find it funny. It's not something that actually bothers me, but he's so dumb. He's so dumb that he does that. And he also, he, he when we were recording today, thing I I can't speak of until it's done, he did the same thing. Did the same thing. And I have a whole bit, uh, spoiler again, in the scene, in my uh, in my Elden Ring video, where I'm like, Sean played the guitar. He's never done that before, has he? <laughs> and he's like, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. You know, he's, he's so dumb. That's, that's, that's one thing. Second thing, is that, I think I have like my nose, like a real Zizek over here. <laughs> uh, Want to see a funny video of me? No, wait, you can't see it actually. Never mind. Because it has, I would show it to you, but the video, I'm in, I'm in my underwear. It's a long story. <laughs> I, I was in New Jersey and Alexis, I made a funny face and Alexis thought it was funny. And then it was slowed down and I sound like a monster, but I was in underwear. You sound like a monster. I sound like a little monster inside of my head. I hate airports. I love airports. 
I, I we uh, I went to one today to pick up my older brother who's here now. Um, who I I felt bad, but uh, I went with my sister to go pick him up, and I came back, and I I just had my, my door locked and closed, well closed and locked since I've been home. I have not left my room to, to like hang out with him. It doesn't he doesn't care, but um, but I hate airport, airports. I. Uh, as soon as the flight landed, his flight, everybody was in the fucking stupid pickup lane. I was just like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to. I don't want to live this life. Pick, okay, okay, okay. I was like, picking up people from the airport is ridiculous. The Phoenix airport, in particular, has this really bizarre system where a door number could mean four different doors in the airport. So there's a south side and a north side, and there's two different terminals you could be at. So what happens if most people are not familiar with the Phoenix airport is they'll fly in, get their bags, and say, I'm at door four. And I'll go, what door four? (laughs) Because there's four door fours. Mm, mm. And I will spend time driving. And if you miss one, you have to stay in traffic and drive all the way around the airport and then to get back. So you got to know I'm at door i'm at terminal two door four north like that's what you have to say if that's you want me to get to where you want to go but i that's like the insane. i like going to the airport they have this weird thing where like it makes me feel important like being on an airplane for like five plus hours just fucking sucks i want to get up and move around i'm an antsy individual um but being in the airport it's like either i'm important enough doing some business shit that I, i'm so important i gotta fly somewhere or B, I'm I'm such I I I'm I'm I paid so much money to goof off. I've paid hundreds of dollars to launch my ass into the fucking air to goof off and have fun. Mm. Either yeah. way, yeah. I'm a, his, in, especially in historical terms, I'm a pretty. I'm a pretty fucking important motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> if I'm at an airport, if you're if you ever been to an airport, just just don't take it for granted. Just take a breath. Soak it all in. You know how many people have been? What percentage of humans alive have ever been in an airport? A lot of people these days, but in all of human history, it's like less than one percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about right. that. Think about how many humans that have ever existed have seen the Earth from as high as an airplane. Yeah, you're right. It's not many people. I, Think about I like, how many people. I was just gonna say I like flying. I just don't like. There's too many people in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm kind of the opposite. I mean, I like being up in the air and experiencing everything. It just goes on too long. I like moving around. I like being able to walk. Being, being in the airport itself, it's like you meet people from all over the world. It's like um, you get to feel this weird sense of importance and adventure to, to travel. Uh, you get charged double. That's fun um, mm. for every day. It's just expensive to be in an airport. I don't know. I, I kind of like being in an airport. I've been in, in a plane so few times that the flying is like the most mystical, like adventurous part for me. Walking through an airport is just like walking through a place where with a lot of people I don't want to deal with. Mm. I don't know. It just I, I'm more of a. I, I I describe myself this way to one of my former bosses at my, at my current job. I said, and she's the same way. I was like, we are people that take great enjoyment out of the little things not out of the, the more important things like so for your example that's like an important feeling to feel like that's a really important feeling thing to feel like feeling like you have some level of importance i don't feel that when i walk through an airport i feel like i don't want to deal with these fucking people i want to go into the plane <laughs> and i want to fly and i want to look down and be like that's an ocean <laughs> you know <laughs> it's dumb and it, I, water. I, I, I would i would describe it as dumb but it really is just taking, just in, like sucking in, giving a giving a good suck to the little things. <laughs> yeah, I'll give a good suck to your little. <laughs> Dude, what? Did, oh my god, there was a, such a good joke that was said tonight. <laughs> On this show, I don't remember. I'm cringe. I said it again. New TikTok. You're welcome. New TikTok. <laughs> Regurgitated content, bitch. So, I was thinking one of the one of the another idea I had for content was like forcing TikToks because I know that we talked about like how that's like weird for the full video. But I, if you are self-aware enough and you go into it self-aware, you can 100 percent make it funny. I feel like so if, we're, if we like make like a, 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 we say something TikTok right now. 
Oh, that corn song. What corn song? No, not the not the band corn. The Shmo Yoho song about corn. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to open up TikTok, and the very first thing I see, we have to recreate. Okay. Uh, sophomore year, me never hearing my birth name because it's unique. Oh, what I, was the ending thing? Hold I on. Stand up. No, oh, hold that on. Is the problem. Geography. I don't get that. Oh, here. Here's three dead ideas for you and your Discord kitten. Oh, is that that? Wait, is that? Wait, show me that guy. I like that guy. I, I need. I need to tell you, he's acting. <laughs> yeah, I like this um, Walter White character, but I gotta say, that guy is acting. He's just an actor. I like that uh, uh, Solly. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, Solly McBride. What's his name? Better call Saul. His name's James McGill. Well, I was, I was cl- close. It's Saul Goodman. It's Saul Goodman, but there's a, there's a really small Venn diagram of people that are actually watching this and people that have finished Better Call Saul. And like, that's, I'm, that's I know for you, you, baby. I know you love Better Call Saul. I do and like, like we show. talked about the Halo show. If any, I, I think about I the show is a lot. I, 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 if you ever want to talk about Better Call Saul, <laughs> you gotta watch all of it. I, dude, for content. The thing about Better Call Saul, is to, you think you, you'd want to watch Breaking Bad first, truly, and then you'd want to watch Better Call Saul. So I'm not gonna have you. Well, break, you the watch thing about Better Call Saul of, is it was a show on Breaking <clears throat> Bad, right? It was a character. Like Saul Goodman was a character on Breaking Bad, and then he had his own spin-off show prequel <laughs> called Better Call Saul. Because oh. he's a lawyer, been... and his ads say "Better Call Saul." And he oh. has ads on TV, but he is a a, a lawyer. I uh, speaking of trash shows, <laughs> no, I was. This reminded me. I watched a video the other day. I don't know if you're uh, familiar with Elvis the Alien. What the fuck no. happened? Uh, he does. He mostly does like movie reviews, and he reviewed uh, the entire Halo show recently, and it just reminded me of how much I hated it. <laughs> Oh, there's a dude. There's a dude on YouTube who gets a lot of recognition. So I don't know. I don't think a shout out for me is going to do anything. But it's a guy on YouTube called LS Mark, and he has these videos where he has reviewed every Simpsons episode ever. It's like oh, yeah, a ten know, hour yeah. long. It's like a ten hour long YouTube video. Every Family Guy episode ever. Every has an episode on SpongeBob too. I think. Yeah. yeah. Insane yeah. amount of work that I guy have, puts into a video. I have not, and I will never watch those. But. That is commendable at the least and incredible at, you know. Oh, they're, they're, they're genuinely good videos. Like, yeah. I, I know you're weird, but like, check out LS Mark's full yeah. <laughs> 10 hour reviews of TV shows. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that is work. I'm, I'm making an hour long Elden Ring video, maybe hour long Elden Ring video, and I'm already stressing out about like the future editing. I don't know how 10 hours you can even consider. <laughs> Cause an Elden Ring, the thing how do you even write that? Uh, what about a about a 10, 10, hours? 10 hours of reviews yeah i th- i would assume you would go into like seasonal chunks and you'd like you'd be like yeah, okay yeah, yeah. you know what i mean but and if it's just a direct review you know whatever the thing about it is that's difficult though because shows like that don't really have a continuous storyline so it's literally just at reviewing this reviewing this reviewing this not the overarching the Elden Ring, I can just there's an overarching storyline, and there's and, and you know every every all th- four of us have like a storyline of our own that kind of go along with it, so it's very easy. Ten hours of just like story, 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 story. That's fucking insane. Do you think I look stinky? I think I look stinky. I don't think you look stinky. <laughs> you don't you look, think I, that I'm stanking up this room here? I think you look the Low least key. stinky out of out of everybody here. I mean, big words coming from me. I don't. I don't know. Are you stinky? Maybe. That was like a Kermit that was choking. <laughs> I, Who watches this show? I do. I have to shower so bad. Uh, I'll I mean, say I'm, this. I'm not unshowered. Oh, dude, look at my eyes. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, I, I, I'm not unshowered. I'm just, I just 
You know when you feel uh, unshowered? You feel gross. Yeah, I feel gross. You feel greasy. <laughs> yeah. You feel stanky. Yeah, my hair is just like pointing up, doing whatever it wants to do. And my eczema acts up when I when I need a shower. And it's acting up. Hey, so I don't even dress up like this good. for my real job. I, I, I've been on video calls this week. Oh, I have to tell you. I've been on video calls this week for my new job. And I had to put on like, you know, I, I gained a lot of weight during COVID. Not because of COVID, just because the time lined up. Um, and I had to put on like button down shirts, whatever. This one right there. Uh, right. Uh, wait, there. It's, it's backwards. That's why I'm having a trouble. Right there. Um, and I hate that. I hate that because I have to like look somewhat professional instead of wearing this. You know what I mean? I should um, probably put more effort in my yeah, well, well, in my job, they care a lot, which is really annoying. They so, kind of care at my job, but I kind of get away with it for now. So we'll see. So I, I already hate video calls. I think most people do. Like, oh, I want to yeah. leave now. <laughs> Bye. Um, Plus, like, when I, when, I, when I talk to people online, I walk around a lot. Just yeah. like, this is so fucking difficult for me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you get one of those cameras that follow you? It's easy. Easy solution. Just get a little drone to follow yeah. me around yeah. my room. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just hear the, yeah, whole the whole time. fucking video. Um, but I was on a, I was on a video call and my monitor, I, I, my middle monitor is meant. I, so I have three monitors. Middle monitor is personal computer. The side monitors are work. That's how I do it, which sounds a little scuffed. It is. So my right monitor, I had the camera on this camera and I was uncomfortably sitting, sitting like this for like an hour. And I hear a knock at, little knock at my door. And normally it's my sister and my brother asking me to do something menial. And, you know, they'll kind of get the hint that I'm busy. And then knock a little louder. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to the door. Knock a little louder. Maybe a little jiggle of the handle. Like, you motherfucker. I'm like, (laughs) I'm not saying anything. I'm just, I'm just like ignoring it. Like, you know. And then I hear my door. I I have one of those doors that you can unlock with like a toothpick. Mm -hmm. I I hear my door being. The rage I felt, the visceral rage I felt in that moment, because I was out for you just I'm, beat your family up on on yeah. business calls. I have social anxiety. I don't like being on video calls. I'm uncomfortable in my shirt physically. So when I hear that happening, and I'm and my the director of my department is there, by the way, and it's my first time meeting this person. So it's a bunch of levels of being like an uncomfortable and and miserable, <laughs> and I hear. So I turn off my camera real quick. My car already muted. And I go look to my left and I scream at the top of my lungs, fuck off. Angrily. Thinking it was my brother or my, my sister. There in the doorway is my mother <laughs> trying to get the dog. Because my dog had my dog had a vet appointment, not knowing I was on a video call, obviously. My dog was on my bed and she What was your mom trying to lock pick your door? She was trying to pick up the dog because the, they had a vet appointment, and I screamed so fuck off at my picks mother. The door, but she didn't. She didn't just raise her voice and go, "Ben, I need the dog." Well, she didn't know I was muted, and she, she, you know, she, uh, she didn't. She couldn't have. You had you. You were muted on the call, but she couldn't have yelled, "I'm your mom!" through the door. Why was well, she trying to lock pick the door? Like I don't know. That's I don't know. Well, she didn't know. She didn't know if I was muted or not, and she didn't know that the direction of the camera was this way. She did text me, and I just wasn't looking at my phone. If she called me, I would have been able to recognize that it was that was that was the that was the the uh, the win criteria. What is it? What do they say? The win. Uh... Oh my God! What's the word? Zach, I'm being pissed. The fuck is the word, Zach? I don't know. Win scenario? Checkmate. What the fuck is the word? The, the, but, the, but the win criteria was if she called me, then I would have been able to answer. I don't know the word. The right thing to do would have been. Right. And But I felt really bad and I apologized to her. Because I don't, I normally would not yell fuck off at my mother. Yeah. 
I felt really bad. I felt genuinely bad. A, I was thinking about that for like three hours. put a W in chat for taking accountability. Let's put a W in chat for respecting your parents. Let's put a W in chat for uh, living large, baby. Living large. That's right. That's what the COVID weight does to you. All right. Let's do this. Let's do the news. Then I'll double check to see if my guest is actually showing up. I don't mean I don't mean to sound like is this, is this the news bit the only bit that you ha- you you brought to me. Yeah, I was preparing a TikTok thing, but I didn't get it done in That's time. Fine. This it's week totally has been cool. this week has been fucking hell. Has it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anything you can say on the air about it, or is it all work related? Oh, I'm just almost purely speaking work, um, mm-hmm. but um, is there anything bad happened to me recently, like personally? Oh, I got hit by a car. That's a bad thing, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I was walking home from school. All right, can we wait? Let's, let's can we like reenact this. Okay, this is the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the car, and um, yeah, that's that's me. That's, that's you. me. So you're walking. So home from I'm walking home from school, smoking a joint, right? Smoking a joint, and um, and some ladies go, "Hey, hey, right. you." Hey, you and I go. I'm not interested, ladies. I got to get home to do homework. And they're like, "Hey, you know, come over here. We want to. We want to sell you drugs." And I said, "No, no, no. I'm really not interested. No, I'm really not interested in this in this scenario here." And um, you know, I, I'm just trying to mind my own business, get home to respect my parents and do my homework. And then, whoop, bam! Whoop, bam! Wait. I used to play with action figures. When I, I was a die. Kid. Is this I a go to girl? hell. Yeah, I go to hell. Okay. I meet the devil. The devil okay. says, "Son, I got to you know." Back in the day, I would have challenged you to a fiddle contest. A fiddle. However, these ever these days, I'm a modern. I'm a modern sinner. I'm a modern devil. I'm going to challenge you to a rap battle. And I said, "My best friend Rose is a possum and a peanut. <laughs> My peanut is a car. My peanut is a car." If you got this far, let me give you a bar. Trump is a lady, said Roseanne Barr. This is a really great gift. It makes me want a Nutter Butter. It makes you want a Nutter Butter. It's the Nutter Butter, a, like, color palette. I don't know how to say it. I, I really, really just, just want, peanut, like, but. I really just want, like, a 3D scan of it spinning and that it's just constantly on, like, the corner of the screen for the whole hey, episode. Get your Xbox <laughs> 360 Connect, dude. Make a 3D model of your oh, Xbox yeah. 360. I think there's a phone that does that for you. You can 3D scan an object and get a 3D model of it or something. Dude, technology is too much. And maybe we should step back a little bit. Can you imagine? Revert this? back to peanut. Look at his face. <laughs> Ew, he's ugly, dude. What the fuck? Ow! Ew. And he has like little hairs on his head. Look at that shit. Ew. Bro Ugly. Oh, well, I'm glad that actually content came out of that. There you go. 20 more seconds of content. All right, do your, do your news bed if you want. Welcome, everyone, to the news this week. This week's news recap is brought to you by Blue Apron. BlueApron.com. We're racist. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. That's freaking sweet, dude. All right, so for our first story this week, police say a man who intended to resell body parts on Facebook allegedly bought stolen human remains. Gee, I wonder why nobody had any questions when he started listing secondhand. (laughs) Capitol Records recently signed an artificial intelligence rapper, FN Mecca, who was subsequently dropped for saying the N-word. Following this, Capitol Records announced they signed a new digital artist, MW2 Lobby. (laughs) Guys, everybody, the joke here... One Missouri school district has reinstated spanking as a punishment, citing, We've had people actually thank us. I would like to take this moment to also thank the school, as I personally received the best education of my life from the Missouri Institute of Horny Little Rascals. (laughs) According... According... Please, uh, please what? just full be bawling while we're doing the news. According to Mia, Mia, according to, to Mia, 
Dot.com, a soldier seeking support for PTSD was disgusted after he was casually offered euthanasia by veteran affairs employees. I too can't stand half ass customer service. That employee should have put on a big cheery smile and enthusiastically offered euthanasia. It doesn't make sense because euthanasia is a sad thing. Strippers at an L.A. strip club want to join an actor's union. Personally, I support this as I think you should only be able to get naked for the plot. I don't don't get that. (laughs) 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 I just thought like the heckler versus like the comedian. (laughs) I tweeted this one. Joe Biden has officially canceled billions of student loan debt. I misspelled student on my notes. To be clear, over the last three years, I've been working from home and the government paid me an extra $3,600 and paid off all of my student loan debts. Fantastic. Now for phase two of my master plan, bitch bitch about anyone else getting a handout for decreasing the value of mine. Now this is the, this is the, this is the last joke I have. Okay. Finally, the city of San Francisco recently invested $20,000 into a new public trash can design. However, they ran into problems as the cans are now struggling to contain large quantities of trash. I suggest they try my new public trash design. It's much cheaper and it's called the Regurgitated Podcast. <laughs> Let's get let's get him in here. If uh, anyone watches this for you, they'll have to scrub through an hour of fucking nonsense to get to this point. But that's okay. Timestamp. We did did this fucking timestamp. Yeah, we were talking about doing a (laughs) timestamp. Yeah, we we're learning this YouTube thing step by step, and we just figured out timestamps work. Yeah, it's pretty crazy actually. Uh, if you want a fun YouTube tip, like one of the things I use, like a bunch of YouTube plugins that tell you the best stuff to do. And one of the things they do want you to do is like set chapters. I don't really know if it helps mm. the performance of the video, but that's something they recommend for some reason. Do, do, you, you, do you go ahead? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Cause no you can, um, you. you can, cause you can set like intro and then say, this is the video and then credits. And I don't know, I guess it helps. Do huh. you think that YouTube is recognizing that like, Hey, this guy is giving a shit about his video and like, like, making this easier for his viewers to watch and they're trying to push that to more people or do you think just people tend to stay on longer I, if they see I would chapters? Say yes. I would say yes because YouTube wants you to use their bad features and they get mad when you don't mm. like shorts like they they now shorts don't do super well I mean your shorts might but now shorts I feel our shorts do super well our shorts, yeah, my yeah, shorts yeah my shorts started off with a bang. Like I got like two shorts, first two shorts past a hundred thousand views every single short after that, which I would say were way better than the first two. Not even like, don't even break 10,000. Okay. Really? Well, we're not getting 10,000 views or a hundred thousand well, yeah, views on a video. Proportionally, but for a, we're a getting nothing a fuck channel. Pro- yeah. Yeah. Proportional to, from subscriber to subscriber to viewer ratio. It's doing good yeah. versus really if we not? just upload a video out into the ether. It's like nothing unless I like promote it to shit. Yeah, yeah you just too many people yeah well that was true that was similar to like how tiktok was for us where i started posting clips on tiktok for a while and it was doing incredibly well for a, a while and then um and then it didn't there's a specific <laughs> clip that may have hurt us oh, you want to tell me like, about that tell me about that tell me about that well i, I don't even take. think it was that much yeah so i mean i don't think you're like a tiktok expert or anything either but we were posting like every single day on, on tiktok and um it was doing pretty well i think we were getting like you know uh, like regularly a couple thousand views per video uh, uh, you know around that time and then we did this whole video where one of ben's friends over here sean was talking about a, a bad dragon like dildo thing that he owned and it was just a, it's just a little tiny thing and i didn't tag anything in it with dildo nothing whatsoever i think it was briefly the word was briefly mentioned like one time but i tagged it like bad dragon which is the brand of the dildo and ever since we uploaded that video it's been like it's just night and day. It's like we have not gotten like any views at all on TikTok since I uploaded that. It's kind of crazy. Do you, you think they like age locked you? Like just like, I, I think so. Yeah. I so, think so I think I think that like TikTok's algorithm kind of like tries to figure out like who is the target audience for this without you giving you 
giving it that information. Like with YouTube, I feel like you kind of have to like baby it into being like, here's who this needs to get pushed to versus TikTok will just learn from what you upload and how you upload and really overanalyze it to figure out on its own who it needs to go to. So I think when we're just starting off uploading like, you know, just silly little clips of us talking, it's like getting a lot of views or like, um, you know, when we're talking about like random issues or whatever, like that you can tag that and it'll go to the right group of people and it'll get a lot of views. But I think the second we uploaded the video where there was a, a brief mention of brief mention of a little sex toy thing and I tagged the brand and not the product, that for whatever reason I feel like it's gotten a little bit better recently. It dropped to getting like nothing, to getting like yeah. two or three views per video. Well. Now it's back up to like two or three hundred per video. It's like getting back up there. But like yeah, ever since then it's it's just really not gotten anything. Versus YouTube, where like YouTube is weird. This is going to be a fucking whole YouTube SEO talk, maybe, honestly. Because, A, I'm interested. To, I genuinely I like talking to you, Isaiah, you know. about YouTube stuff because you do it so well. And then I've been experimenting around with it for this stuff recently. And so I, I, I just think it's interesting. But YouTube Shorts, um, like occasionally will upload and it'll get pushed to thousands of people. And, um, and then it'll just flatline and stop. And I don't quite understand why. Cause like, We'll get thousands of views, hundreds of likes. We'll get like three subscribers from one upload, and then YouTube will just stop pushing it. Which, like, I don't know what we need to do to get to that next level from that. Like, how do, is there something that we're not breaking through? Because it seems like people are engaging with it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. Shorts are just shorts are weird. Sorry, you weren't done. Go ahead. Well, I, I was also saying sometimes we'll upload a short too, and it'll get like four views, and I'll go check the reach section of the video analytics tool, and it's not even showing up on the shorts feed for people. And it's like not even an offensive video or anything like that. And I've tried to tag it properly. It just doesn't end up on the shorts feed and it gets four views. It's interesting. I don't know why it does that. I, well, and I know that you're question, your questioning your comments were more to Isaiah. I, I, but I just to give a, a, a quick thought is I think that we sprinkle enough stuff that YouTube, like the Andrew Tate stuff and just me just straight up burping for a video. Like that stuff I feel like is, is, sprinkled in enough where youtube's like these guys are kind of weird i don't know i don't i don't know what the algorithm how the algorithm would would uh uh, uh equate weird i don't know how it would deal with 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 just i don't know it's a mixed bag of content yeah maybe it yeah i don't, I don't know. know any thoughts yeah. on isaiah it's uh, it's really hard because i've been doing it for i'm in a really niche thing and i've been doing it for almost a decade now so I couldn't imagine starting. I, I don't know if I could get where I am today if I if I started because it's just like it's just so much content. And then they do punish you for having different things. Like if you if you do something and then you're like, oh, I want to try this. They'll say, oh, no, no, no. You did. You did this first. That's that's your thing now. And it's really hard to, like, get out of that cage. They put you in, basically. Yeah, I've heard other content creators like really complain that, like. You know, they've been they've tried to like do a pivot to a new style or format of comedy and the YouTube algorithm just like really reprimands them for that and really like punishes them for trying to make that change. I think like it, a lot of what I've like researched and like the quote unquote YouTube algorithm kind of boils down to like, <clears throat> are you keeping people engaged on the platform longer? And I think if you make changes like that, your viewers tend to drop off more because it's not what they're accustomed to. Too. people are spending yeah. less time on your on your videos while you try to figure out what works um either that or something along the lines of like hey you're, you're changing niche we don't quite know who to give this to i don't know it's interesting i feel like i feel like it's one of those things that like everyone constantly has their own like bullshit justification for and it's like some people know how to make it work like super well and then other people will think they know what that is and it just doesn't happen i don't know mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, I was just just gonna say, YouTube is very. There's a the thing is about that's different with like something like Twitch is that Twitch has like a glass ceiling, right? Where it's like, is it glass ceiling? Is that the term where you like you kind of hit a point? Like I, I think it's like people say it's like five hundred to a thousand viewers that you just can't get past. Like it's it's nearly impossible to get past unless you do some crazy shit. Um, I feel like YouTube has a glass floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like you can't get anywhere without, you know, and, you know, doing something, you know, something crazy or different. Cause everybody, cause YouTube's so large. Yeah, so everybody's done yeah. every, everything you've done. 
So it's. I, I, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say I really like the term glass floor because it is also like it does add this thing too where if you. And if you do reach that success, like, for example, uh, a channel I used to watch Rooster Teeth, like you can reach that level of success and then they they just stop making stuff. So, like, it's like the glass floor cracked and now you just you're done. That channel is yep. just dead. Yep. YouTube will not recommend that content. Yeah. You you would have you can have 10 million subs and it's just like you got to start a new channel because this they're not going to recommend you anymore. And it's crazy because I know there's a there's talks uh, very recently over like the last week of like uh specifically i think uh was it cory kenshin he talked about uh favoritism on youtube and also racism but i'm gonna i'm gonna stick to the favoritism part because I, I cannot t touch on ra racism really um Dave. but the 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 favoritism portion is that they seem to cling on to cling people on. and people don't know if it's a manual or just an algorithmic thing but um it seems to be almost random to a some to some degree almost random where they'll like they'll like be very okay with this creator or this type of content that is just as offensive or just as uh uh not a uh what's the word i'm looking for like provocative uh, provocative as some other form of content it is equal in forms of like social acceptability but it just will not it'll just not go anywhere um and I mean, I, I think that there have been a billion people, especially through COVID, who have done a a, 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 a online Discord podcast. I I know we're not the first ones to do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. This shit's unique, <laughs> This dude. is number one. I did like the first, the very first episode we did of this is called Three White Guys Talk About Cancel Culture. And I thought that was fucking hilarious because it's just like that's. It's like, like every. every, every <laughs> it's just like every other thing you can every possibly podcast, do. Yeah, every podcast that's come out in the last two and a half years that is like this. Is, is almost exactly that's, that. <laughs> that's why when we suggested the name regurgitated, I was like, that's perfect because that's literally it's just regurgitated. So like this, everything that we could possibly think of to do has been done before. Yeah. Definitely. Just leaning into it. Yeah. Wholly. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. And then I really like when we were thinking of the clips channel name, you brought up instead of redux, you, we call it regurgitated reflex. Like you're throwing up. And I you was know, like, funny. I actually, itself. I actually didn't even make the redux comparison i just have i have gerd which is <laughs> reflux so that is why i thought of that um and i thought also regurgitated while it kind of fell into its own what namesake is that what it's called something like that uh it it kind of began as like you and me getting you know zach and i getting back into the uh Kind of content getting back into space. content, and we've already done content in the past, and we're just kind of coming back up or coming, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. Kind of getting back into the YouTube space. Which, but it fell into its name really well because it really, this really is something that every you know billion people have already done, which is it's, it's pretty funny. Yeah, there's not, um, there's absolutely nothing unique about it except for us. Which, if you listen to what Mr. Beast has to say, which if you're ever like looking up YouTube advice on youtube it's like everyone will like draw a comparison to like mr beast it's like if you're looking up finance advice everyone's like well warren buffett says yeah and then like exactly. you can't argue with it because they brought up warren buffett's name yeah, it's yeah. the same thing on youtube but like mr beast says uh like it's like the he says something about like you are the only you and that's what makes your content unique or some some weird lame duck like non shit like that yeah 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 but like it's kind of true but like i don't know um i was more curious go ahead I was just gonna say it's the biggest thing about YouTube tips is I never want to hear YouTube tips from someone like Mr. Beast. Like he it's it's an anomaly. Each because when you get that big, like him, PewDiePie, sometimes it's just, oh, I made PewDiePie, for example, oh, I made Let's Plays during the period where YouTube pushed Let's Plays. Like he can't he cannot give you advice at this point because he hasn't he really mm. didn't have to grow like most people do. Like the uh, if you want to like a good advice channel would probably be someone who's like in the middle, like with a hundred thousand, because that's like a good start. But someone with like a million, sometimes it's just, oh, I started at the right time. Oh, I got one viral video. I actually don't know the history, like how Mr. Beast got his start, because he just kind of popped out of he, nowhere for us. For me, I think I think he made like no like hundreds of videos for like two or three years without getting like any views before he started to pop off. And I. <laughs> The first, you, don't, you don't think there's any kind of like science behind what he does where he's like really trying to like play into the algorithm I, I think that's his whole thing is he's like trying to keep everything like as engaging as possible and it's like perfectly refined to the algorithm as possible yeah, he's but you are right now like he's 
I would say he's he's easily probably the best at that now. But like, I don't think if he was like, yeah, do this. It's like, OK, where do I get the millions of dollars you have? Mm. <laughs> That's what sure. It, it's like it's. it's ah. I don't know. I think that like I think it was. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm I this is going to get into like 2016 YouTube. But like Casey and I said, I don't know how to like a really big because uh, he was kind of like a. I don't want to say grassroots because that sounds cringe as shit, but like he really like kind of made his own thing and like it got popular because he made his own thing. And his advice was just pick up a camera and do something. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's kind of always what I've lived by. Like I can't, I, I do stress myself out over videos as I, I was just telling Zach how if I, I have to have a deadline in my head, but if I, I have a deadline in my head and I don't hit it, I freak the fuck out. So, um, uh, I I have, but this this kind of stuff, you know, this 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 cringe Discord podcast shit, like this is what is is giving my me my creative bashuf. I'm gonna use that as a that's gonna be my word. Can you give bashuf. like a dictionary, like a Merriam-Webster's definition of bashuf? Well, it, How do you it, has, that? it has the B and then like the up, upside down E. You know, for is this like a real word. Or are you just making no, shit up. No, it's a hundred percent made up. <laughs> okay, well, still put the dictionary definition yeah, the, of it uh, up Bashu- on screen. What does I say? Bashuft? Bashuft. Bashuft. Like that. It, sounds, it sounds Russian almost, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the Russian word for bullshit. I don't fucking uh, yeah, know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Casey and I said advice was really good, uh, even though it's he, he kind of said, just do your thing. And I, you know, I think that, I mean, I watched Rooster Teeth too, and they were making kind of like 20 uh, videos a week or some crazy shit. I that is nothing I could ever see myself doing, even in a, a production, you know, company. Not even if you hired ours. like five editors and you just had Only like five. Uh, that's uh, four videos a day. It would, it would no, <laughs> that's four videos a week for each editor. I would never. I would never. But maybe. <laughs> but Do you think wait. Rooster Teeth just outgrew itself? Like it just it grew faster than its own good. Or, or, I I think they sold out. It's that that's the trend I always see. It's like you could. Cause, cause I, I'm a huge fan. So like we, when we went to, um, RTX Zach, it was like, yep. that was peak. That was per, probably peak rooster teeth. They were making narrative content that we ever, what everyone wanted. They made red versus blue. They were making animated shows. They were making live action shows. They're making a lot of stuff. Then like the next year I, I went with, uh, with just Ty, all that was gone. They didn't have, they didn't have any premieres of their live action shows. Uh, all the, almost half of their animated shows had been canceled at that point. It's just, and that's about when the full screen stuff happened. I just either, either they. Why would full screen money. invest that much money though to have a brand just die? I think so wasn't full screen also had a business. So wasn't the full oh. screen uh, uh, acquisition? Was that twenty? Was that right wasn't after Monty full screen died? bought by Disney too? AT and T, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're yeah either Disney or Warner or AT, it's I think AT and T. It's AT and T yeah. actually. So it's Warner. It's AT and T owns Rooster Teeth basically. I'm pretty sure because full screen I don't think exists anymore. They were actually I'm pretty sure I remember probably about two years ago they were trying to sell Rooster Teeth, but I don't think anybody bought it. Yeah. Well, okay. So I have I, I watched so much Rooster Teeth in my in my in my heyday. Like I went to I I know. I've told Zach this. Isaiah, I also went to RTX 2016, just as a coincidence. He was there, and we just didn't. Yeah, uh, I think um, I knew about you at the thing. We knew had, about each other, and I think we you talked about meeting up. My DMs yeah. back then, yeah, yeah, and I just didn't know yeah. you that well. Yeah, it would just it would have been weird if we, yeah, hundred um, percent. But uh, I think the thing about Rooster Teeth is the thing that I never want to happen. So Zach, if you ever decide you don't want to do this anymore, and if I ever decided that I don't want to do this anymore, done. I, I hope we just cut it off. Because the thing about it is they they kept bringing new people in and new, some people would drop off. And then like when Bernie left is when I pretty Dude. much stopped watching entirely because that was I think, who I would I watch think, for. I think the opposite would be even funnier and more like in line with like my style of comedy to where like inst- we just don't even announce it. We get sick of this. Shit. It, 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 imagine this that thing actually has some following, right? This is yeah. like five years down the line. We both are at like creative disagreements. We're not enjoying it. And one of us is on the bigger, better things, yada, yada, yada. I just say we hire two like Asian dudes to just like take our spots Ooh. and just pretend to be us. Like and then we just take yeah. over the channel. For the, yeah. Yeah. No, Definitely. not even. They're just, they're just, oh, they're just, they're two just two new people two, run it. Okay. We never explain it. Sure. We never once like announce it or anything. They're just the new people forever. Right. Well, the thing about it is, no, first of all, it would be funny what episode and nobody would watch an episode two that, that we're going. Um, but, but the thing about it is like RT 
they dropped off because they kept old people gone, new people there. Nobody likes change in a content creation space. That's why the a Game Grumps situation is so rare. For a person to leave Game Grumps, that's something that's so highly regarded, and someone to join up, and then it does better. That's an insanely rare thing to, ha- to happen. Yeah. Zach, don't replace me. Crazy. Please. I know there's someone better out there. Please. Um, but uh, I've outsourced Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now, I mean, I, I don't know if you've, uh, Isaiah, I don't know if you've watched any of their more recent stuff, or Zach, I don't know if you watched any more of their, their uh, specific I, RP. I particularly fell off hard. I say, I imagine yeah. you would watch more than me. Game Grumps or Rooster Teeth? Rooster, Rooster Teeth. I, I've never really watched Game Grumps. Like, the second, I, because I, I can, well, first of all, I completely agree. And Game Grumps is a great example. And I wonder, and I would say probably a big part of that was I think Danny already had a following. Mm-hmm. So he was, and, he, and they, and they were basically always collaborating on his channel. So I think people deep down already wanted that. So that's probably a big part. I don't know about much about Game Grumps, so I might be wrong. But like, I think I assume Danny had already started doing his music videos. So that's probably a big part. Cause yeah, that, I would yeah. say that's a big part of why Rooster Teeth failed. And that's like a con of YouTube is just, if you're doing a production company like that, because you need to keep making content, but people don't stay at the same jobs for yeah. It's a very okay. personality driven. Mm-hmm. YouTube yeah. Is like at that level, like you're kind of getting people to watch stuff based on who you are, which does circle back to that Mr. Beast point. Jimmy, maybe you were right, but um, Jimmy, it, it's first more name basis. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, I'm on a first name basis with Mr. Beast, Jimmy Beast. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, like it, when, when it is so like wrapped around your personality and there's an issue with your personality, whether it's you all of a sudden saying something controversial or moving on to different things. It's hard to keep that like machine going because it's like, you know, with a larger production company that's like in the background funding and producing movies and stuff. It's like, who cares? The people were tuning in to Rooster Teeth to see the personalities they liked. They're no longer seeing the personalities that they like. So you have to kind of rebuild that trust. And, and then like, as you're, as you mentioned up top, like when you make a shift in YouTube with what you're doing, they punish you for it. And Mm -hmm. so it's like, kind of a, a, a double whammy where their fan base isn't as into it and the YouTube algorithms probably give them hell for it. Yeah. You know, exactly. it's a tough, tough pivot to make. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's really, it's very tough. Um, and that was kind of when I was doing, you know, going hard with YouTube in like 2014, 20 through 2016 or 17. I don't remember 2016. I think um, I, uh, one thing that I that I because I would I would think about that I would be like you know more people that I don't know are joining RT more people that I do know and really like are leaving RT it's like it, it's getting a little weird, um, and then I was like I that was kind of also coincidentally happening to my group of friends that was recording videos, and I was like to us this is still really funny because it's our group of you know it's our group of friends, but to other people they're just like who the fuck is this guy, and I, I don't know it it, it 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 can be tough, that's and and, and um. So yeah, that brings us to our next topic. How um how how to be successful you? on YouTube? How are you doing? <laughs> how to be successful on YouTube? All right, give me give me your give me your take. Actually, everyone, everybody's take. First of all, Zach, give me your take. How do how do you be successful on YouTube? Um, okay, there's there's three different ways. Number one, be a big titted blonde woman and don't show your tits because you get demonetized. But instead, like be get really close to it and talk about video games. Um, number two, uh, jump cuts and clickbait. Number three, um, that's, there's four ways. Number, number three is just like, be useful. Like just be a useful guy that shows mm-hmm. you how to do things consistently. Mm-hmm. Right. Like Tutorial if you can make a YouTube way. channel telling people how to like fix shit randomly, you'll do mm-hmm. really well. Or, um, or just be incredibly funny and incredibly lucky and okay. hardworking. I think, I time. think those are all correct. Um, single one. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like I, I was going to ask everybody, but I feel like you just answered the question. I mean, that, that would have been my answer. How about you, Isaiah? I I would say, ah, man, being I wish I I wish I knew. Um, <clears throat> well, you, you if anyone here is speaking from authority, it is you. Dude, I, we have twelve subs on the main channel, dude. I don't know what the fuck you mean. Oh, thirteen. My bad. And the clips wow. channel has way more. You're really, you're, really, like, you're reaching far for this one, Isaiah. You're really lucky that we were, you know, we could have we could squeezed you in <laughs> to our tight schedule. We had Andrew Tate on last week, and I think Sean's going to come on with the ball cap next week and do yeah, Jeff Bezos or something. Probably, yeah. 
Is, that, is Jeff Bezos known for his ball caps? I only know him as ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a, one of his friends came on with a bald cap and played a character oh, last episode. I heard ball cap. Okay, so that's why I oh. said that. Okay. What is I a was, ball I was cap? Like, I was like, I the, don't know. <laughs> I, I would, yeah. What? No, no, no. Actually, no. That's a good question. What is a ball cap? <laughs> I mentioned a baseball cap. Oh, just took away. that's actually really smart. I would have never thought about that. That's like a really good. Yeah, one. I was. I think my mind was living somewhere in a gutter. Yeah, I when I heard ball cap, I was like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, but that does make sense. Um, Jeff Bezos. So that's crazy. Well, let me let me reframe this question though, because I've I've genuinely I I could just ask you this as a I talk to you occasionally, but like you um I, I've always kind of wondered you make these really long Halo YouTube videos that are more like story based, right? Like they're it's not like based on a current event or like a trending topic or anything, but you get a shit ton of views, like a shit ton of views in some of your videos. Like where, where's last where's the last man standing at? Where's the most viewed last man standing video at right now? Uh, the the first episode I'm gonna check right now because it's it's uh, it blows my mind to be completely. It's uh it the first one hit 338 thousand and it's still it's still growing and the second one just passed 200 thousand. But what Jeez. I mean, you had an audience beforehand, and I just think like uh, you're one of the very few people making machinimas that are actually like you, you're the only person that's making machinimas. Period that I'd ever watch these days. Just period in general there's a couple more people that are kind of still doing it but like not a whole lot of competition i feel like people are still kind of like looking some stuff up from the old days or whatever but you continue to grow and like outpace yourself and i just kind of wonder like what like what like how do you even begin to like tag a video for like what 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 makes a video like that even work in this day and age i don't i genuinely don't know so I think it's a combination of things because I didn't I didn't think so for people who don't know about Machinima, um, one passing 100,000 views in like modern day is like insane like that because just people aren't Halo. No one no one gives a shit about Halo, which I mean, three, four, three's fault. But it's a big it's like what blew my mind was um, Nightmare Films, who is the biggest guy. He made a, a Machinima video that was um that uh, that basically it hit a million views, which I didn't even think was possible anymore. That basically told me. So it's just a it's just a combination of a bunch of stuff. First of all, people do like I hate that the the narrative of people don't like story content because they do. And my channel, another thing is like you have to upload constantly. You really you you technically don't because like if you're making good stuff and people tune into it, even if you upload yearly, like I'm genu- part three has taken me about. I think it's uh we're going on like a year and a half now. Um, but like I'm when it comes out, I'm assuming it's gonna be one of my most popular videos because it's something people want to watch. So it's like you said, being yourself, like I'm just making I'm just being me. So it, a big part of why I think it does well is just a combination of things. Cause I did have an audience. Um zombies apparently are really popular still. Really? And yeah. What the hell? Zombie, great. You, yeah, you constantly surprise me with like just being successful on Halo Machinimas, and you're like, I'm doing this thing with zombies, and it just blows up, and Dude, I'm like, what it, the fuck? If you make a machinima, good for you, I love it, and you make good shit, but like, I just still like zombies, really. Yeah. Isaiah, if you make a video or a machinima or whatever in like eight years, and it's a battle royale, and it just fucking <laughs> pops off, I'll freak out. I'll straight up freak out. Because eight you know, years from now, the how, like, last man standing. Did, in. Well, like, that is the last man standing kind of is though, isn't it? It actually kind of is, yeah. It second. actually kind of is a series about wait. a battle royale. For part three, you gotta wait like eight years then and see if it just pops off. I think it's what what, what I'm what I'm kind it of gathering. It will pop off when it, it comes make out. In eight years, oh my god! I hope <laughs> you not, should. Though. You should. When part three comes out and we have two more subscribers, you can hop in here for ten minutes and promote it and leave. If you're lucky. lucky. If you're lucky. Squeeze me in, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll pencil you in. Dude, um, the, the, wait, but can I just say the. I don't. Maybe it's just me. I find that bit very funny, where where you're like wearing a suit, and, and we're like, dude, maybe we can so pencil you when we have some, thirteen subs. Yeah, <laughs> That's 13. very funny. Hmm. I'm looking at the numbers here. I'm running the maths. I think they're a little bit off. They carry the one. Maybe we can pencil you in. <laughs> oh, That's stupid. I promise. I don't wear a suit every time. I'm I, I'm I'm leaning into the bit even harder. I'll wear a suit next time, dude. I'll I'll, I'll Do you want the bit. suit? No. <laughs> to get okay, on Amazon. I'm gonna get one of those <laughs> okay. ones on Amazon. Yeah. Oh, please do. Um, um 
Um, oh, oh, there was. <laughs> I remember something. Sorry, this is unrelated to anything we were just talking about. I was listening, and I, I listened to the, the the podcast on Spotify, episode seven, and I watched the premiere uh, of episode seven as it was happening. I say um so to clear silence so often. We need a counter for that shit. It's so aggravating. It was pissing me off to no to no end when I was doing it. I, I was pissing I feel like me everyone off. Everyone has like a verbal crutch. I used yeah. to say for sure. Like for in between sure. every other sentence, yeah. which is very West Coast to me. Growing yeah. up on the East Coast, moved out West, and then like I got like super, uh, it, it mm. corrupted my brain. And like it, to stop any kind of silence, you'd be like, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like I just constantly say, for really, sure. that's a weird thing to say. Yeah, I mean, I'm so is also dumb. So, well, but, uh, I'm so is also dumb. So new lines. At least mine's song. a real goddamn word. But um, I'm so okay. Go ahead. No, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get offended that you're making fun of my. Well, I was just saying dude. that like everyone has a verbal crutch when they like try to like fall back on something while their brain is like processing, and I just feel like the default is always is for most people um, but like people that are really engaged with like public speaking or speaking in general at length and mm. effectively will either cut it for silence and just be comfortable in silence, or they'll they'll come up with like other crutches that aren't so ubiquitous right so instead of saying um all the time they'll use a different yeah. word that's an actual like word and translate it like uh, um scrabble no no i was saying like is <laughs> the word that you oh yeah, yeah i don't know like yeah but you did it well i think you guys are great at uh moving from topic to topic <laughs> look at us look at us um, That's I know. Great. One of I, the feedback you got was that we change topics every five minutes. So yeah, I, but our I, segues are killer. I mean, for the man himself, the man that we scribbled in, our our, our segues are killer. It seems. Thoughts? I, I agree. Uh, see, we, we <laughs> to be fair, Rooster Teeth to YouTube to to someone said the word scrabble for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, to um to. I don't even remember what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, to be fair, again, if you watch the first part of this, Ben, I don't know if you would agree that it, it flowed as seamlessly as it should have to get to this point. I, I think we start episodes off pretty well. And then, like, towards the end, we kind of, like, lose some steam I'm kind of feeling great this, right now. I got to be honest. I, yeah, normally I think I'm we tired picked it back point. up. Yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. feeling pretty great. I got a question for you, Isaiah, though. And I was, I've been thinking about this as far as, like, a content creation standpoint because I've made a, a good amount of content in the past – 13 years um and none of it's popped off i mean i don't i i it's either not funny or infrequent uh to a like a, not a, a, funny a, yeah i mean most of the time um but um how does it f- how gradual for at least for it's different for every person but how gradual is it for you to go from like one view to 1000 views like was it like you would go from one view to a hundred views to 200 views to 500 views to a thousand, or was it like one and then it was one until it was a thousand? You know what I'm saying? Asking? I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I wish I had a better answer for you, but it was, it wasn't, I'm cause a lot, I would say I had a good start because like, I, I would say I've, I've never been the biggest channel, but I mean, even when I was like, I had a thousand subscribers. Like when I met, when I met Zach, like, oh, Dude, I remember me and Ethan talking when we first got to talk to you and we were like, wow, Isaiah has 1000 subscribers. We got to like impress mm. this guy or mm. something. Yeah. Like even back then it was like, I was still one of the bigger channels. So it like, I kind of yeah. 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 For, yeah, exactly. Sorry for machinimas. Cause oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. But, yeah, so yeah. it wasn't yeah. as gradual. I would say, it's it really it really is big events basically so so i make a bunch of series is my thing like that and that's probably what i would say is a big part of my growth because like you make the same thing forever eventually eventually people are going to lose interest or you'll realize like for example my series halo butt buddies that wasn't really like it was a really good for consistent views but it was not like this did not i made an hour-long video of it it did not blow up my channel that took me six months didn't blow up my channel Mm -hmm. It longer than like that, even though it had the time, it had an audience, everything I said last man standing had, but because last man standing was a new series, anyone can just hop on your channel and Mm -hmm. say, Oh, this is new. I'm into this. So I would say I wasn't really gradual. I just had big, like explosions of growth every, every couple of years or every once a year. Well, with, with being, 
uh, infrequent. I feel like that's kind of how that's going to have to go. Right. I would, I, I would, I would imagine, you know what I mean? Where if it's like, if you're uploading once a year and it's a banger or whatever, that that's kind of how it, the growth would. Well, I, I think YouTube like tries to figure out what your cadence is. So if you're a guy that uploads an hour long video every year, I think maybe they try to figure out what audience values that and find that. And then if you're a guy who's uploading like two or three times every day, that might be easier to like build an audience with, but you have to keep that up. Otherwise, you know, you're going to get screwed. You know what I mean? And I think alternating between the two is like being consistent and then stop uploading the work on a big project and uploading it might screw you. But if you're a guy that, you know, only uploads once a year and you're getting tons of views on it, starting to upload once every day might tank you as well. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Like, I think they kind of figure out where you live and find the audience for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, would, I would assume if I uploaded every day, my channel would die. Like, I, I think if I, but it, honestly, in a way, when I uploaded smaller episodes of Last Man Standing, they do well, but like, they don't do as well as the big ones. And I genuinely worry, oh, is that going to hurt my channel? Because YouTube's just weird like that. Yeah, I, I, I got a question actually about that. Then, <laughs> speaking of channels dying, <laughs> if you're if you uploaded. Just I, I'm doomsday shit. If you uploaded uh, last, well, last man standing, I've all, the only sorry Isaiah, I've I, I've seen some of your videos. I've seen mostly Halo butt buddies. I believe it was a while ago at this point. But um, yeah, I prefer when people don't watch my videos. When they talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, but last man standing three drops once a work and it gets a hundred views. Okay, where do you go from there? Do you continue making content or do you, are you like I fell off? Fuck. Isaiah would continue making content no matter what. Is that true? Yeah, Does he make the same content? Is the question. Uh, it's, but I will say, like, I, I definitely prioritize the one that the stuff that does better. Like, I would say I have a, another series, Isaiah and Brian. It's, it's been on hiatus for like, I've, I mean, I've been making it since like 2013, and it's, I still plan on finishing it, but it's just, it's not gonna grow my channel, so it's just not a priority. So yeah. if Last Man Standing, in a way, and, and I can't answer that because the 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 smaller episodes, I I have to I had to pull back. I was trying to upload smaller episodes in between the big parts, but they just don't do as well. So I mean, I still want to tell the story and I'll still upload them, but I definitely just said, all right, let me just pull back and at least finish a big episode first because I, you do. You do want to be smart with it. Like I'm, I, I do YouTube for fun, but I also do try to take it seriously. Like I wouldn't, if I, if, even if I want to upload something, if I thought this will not do well and it could genuinely damage my channel, I probably wouldn't. So I don't know if that answers your question. No, that, that, that does. That does answer my question. I, I, I figured that we were all kind of in the same mindset of like, it's fun anyway. You know what I mean? Like right now, obviously this channel is, is getting, well, I don't know, a thousandth. I would say one what? What's the math there? I was gonna, I was saying a thousandth, but it's much less than a thousand. A thousandth. We're not going to sit here and do math on this show. You can say right. the, you can say what the numbers are. I'm not going to figure a out what percentile of views. Significantly and... less of a viewership than you, of course. Whatever. <laughs> that says something. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> and. I mean, I don't give a fuck if it's a, if it's we get to 50 subscribers in 10 years. I'm, I'm in, I mean, I at least if it continues as it is now, I'll be doing this, you know, until until you know, I replace you with a Chinese until you replace uh, me with Daddy Sex King. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> to, to to maximize profits and efficiency right, of the show. Right. right. And I, I kind of figure we're all that's on the, the same page Ben is the I'm not. It's Ben is the I'm. It's not about the music anymore, guy, and that I'm the big corporate businessman selling everything out for you money like and it. views. Yeah, you got, you got the the tux, did the hair done. I'm sure. Um, you, did you trim your beard for this? No, I actually didn't. It looks trimmed, and I think that's naturally a very good and handsome thing that you have on your face, Zach. You're tell you what else is trimmed. Go ahead. Tell me, no, tell me what's trimmed. Humor. Okay. My sense of well, humor. I thought that was going in a different direction. Okay. You kiss your fucking mom with that mouth. I was going to um, you're going to say foreskin, if we're being honest, but go ahead. You know, you know there's 10 different types of we foreskin. We have a guest. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We have a fucking guest. He has a show called Halo Buff Buddy. He doesn't give a fuck. He has a, he he doesn't doesn't a, care. I, there are little kids watching this shit, and you, you just said so? I, I did what to my foreskin? You trimmed it. <laughs> just get a, get a millimeter off the top. Um, just a little off the there, top. There are, yeah, there are 10 oh, types of those, by the way. Back. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? I was going to ask him a serious question. Okay, let's let's reset. Reset. Go ahead. 
Here we go. No, no, See I don't want to. Oh, okay. I'll ask him a serious question. <laughs> no, 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 no. I genuinely, I genuinely okay. do have something, okay. though. I was going to ask you on the note, though, of like, um, you know, playing to the algorithm and prioritizing stuff that like, you know, will do well and, you know, grow. Because honestly, like there, there, there is a level of it, too, where it's like I enjoy making the art like that's where the fun is in it. But there is some satisfaction, too, with seeing numbers grow and feeling rewarded for the stuff that you make. But if we were to eliminate all of that and you just knew that no matter what you get paid and viewed consistently where do you think like your prior your priorities would lie in like making content like what would you be making if you didn't feel like you needed to rely on like growing an audience if if we're going still because i do have like i do have an overall like career youtube game plan but i would i would probably be doing what i would do i would just i would say i would prioritize finishing off my smaller stuff so i could just focus on the bigger stuff because that mm-hmm. is where, I, where i'm going like i i'm I got like, I, I want to play with infinite because the forge is really good. So I've got a couple more, couple more years in, in like of with halo in me, but overall I am genuinely like, yeah, I did this for a good long time. I'm ready to stop. So either way, that's about where I would, this is about what I would be doing. Mm-hmm. Just, I would prioritize finishing stuff more than I need to, I need to finish stuff in the background and, and focus on growth. Gotcha. Yeah, that's fair. I, I feel like that's the best way to build something too. Is to be like I'm doing what yeah. I want to do. It's just about how I do it. Right. I, I yeah. I, yeah. I would agree. Yeah, because that's the priority. Because like, if I may, my thing is always also too, um, which kind of contradicts what I said. But if my channel did die, I've said I made some, I made videos when I have z- had zero subscribers, a hundred subscribers, a thousand. Every I, I like the audience. The number be going bigger, always great to see. But in the end, I'm I just like to tell stories, so right. I'm gonna do it. Eventually, it's just, in, it'll in, get done. Incredible segue here, because I I had a question in my mind that I wanted to ask you, uh, both of you, because you've actually both done this. Yeah. Um, Machinimus, right? Great. Yeah. Fun. Is Halo? This is the face of a Halo Machinima creator. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the uh, what is what the fuck was your show called, dude? I'm so sorry. I'm such a bad friend. The optimal. Oh, you're talking about the optimal disappointments. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Um, what did you guys do? You guys like making the the in game portion? Do you enjoy making the machinima from the as in like getting the right well, shots and all that? Wasn't that even shit? A, that one was not even a completed Halo machinima. That was just yeah, something. I remember when you were. We doing. finished one episode. Did you ever release it though? Because that was like at the that was the very yes. end of your machinima career. Like you were like the, the very end. You were like I'm done with well, this, and and you had like most of an episode done, and it was really good. And I don't think you ever actually made it public, right? We did. One is oh, public. You did. I, I've there's seen more it, than that yeah. too. There's there's the, all of episode one was completely done and published. Published. Yeah, okay, there are okay. two more. There are two more episodes that are also public, but they're not finished. We just uploaded. It. Actually, that was on your advice too, because we had half of two episodes done, and we were talking to you about what do we do with this? We don't have it in us to finish this, and you were just like, "Well, if this is something you want the world to see, but you don't have the energy to finish it, I don't see the harm in just putting it out." So we did, and it's on the channel. That's good advice. Still on the channel. Pretty, yeah. That's pretty solid like advice. Um, but uh, that that was an interesting one because that was like, um. Like me and Ethan were writing those scripts for a long time, like since before, like even early FWSX, we were writing scripts for that. And I think we had it in the back of our mind too, like when I went away to college that we were going to like write a bunch of these scripts and for some reason pitch it to TV networks, which is great that we had the confidence to do that. I think in retrospect though, it's like really tough to pitch a log line of a show that's like a variety show. Like there needs yeah. to be more of like a why would people watch this? Um, involved in that to actually pitch it to places but regardless that was our idea um and it never happened the way we wanted it to and so we tried to make it a machinima and then it's what's public um but to answer your question morris to did you enjoy shooting it and everything i personally liked editing it which is why i like made somewhat of a career as a video editor afterwards just because i really enjoyed doing like the vfx work and um storytelling through visuals and everything however i think even from the very beginning um you know halo was easy and i liked it 
but it was really just a means to an end for us, which I think is why me and Ethan stopped making them was because like mm -hmm. we always, we even back then it always kind of felt, and this is no offense to you, Isaiah, that we, we were just in Halo trying to do this stuff. And we were like, I don't know. It just feels a little lame to just be making these shitty jokes in Halo. And the thing and, is, I um, think that it was, even at that time, it, was, it, it felt a bit antiquated, but if you can still make an art form out of it, I think that it, that's, you know. <laughs> Well, I think really Isaiah is doing you're doing what it should be. And yeah. like, the way that you're elevating it is like when I when I watch one of your videos, I don't feel like I'm watching a machinima. I mean, I am. But like you do so much other stuff with it and like razzles like animations and stuff and everything like it, it just I can forget that I'm watching anything about video games when I'm watching one of your videos, which is hard to do. But is kind of how you would have to do it to be taken seriously in the first place. Um, you know. I just wish we could have done something else aside from that, which is why I do a lot of like animation stuff now. Yeah. I don't know. How did you feel, Isaiah? Or how do you I, feel? Do you feel? The machinima making part of it is the worst part. I like, fucking hate it. That's what yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. I fucking hate it. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, that's not, what I meant to say. Don't, <laughs> don't like it. It's, it's tedious. My dog is I'm good. It's tedious. It's like it's annoying. It's setting up everything is annoying. And then going through theater is annoying. I also just love the I mean, going through theater is is annoying. But like if you know, if you got you have to write down like the timestamps and everything eventually it gets fine. But yeah, I would say the fun part of it for me is the editing part. Exactly. Because it's just like putting everything together and just seeing everything you get. It's just cool. It's just cool to see it. And and to go off of what you were saying, Zach, um, I agree. I don't. Um, I don't really treat it like I'm making a machinima. I just, that's just, it's just what I use. I treat it as animation. I just don't know how to animate. Do I wish I learned to animate instead? Yeah. Every day. Yeah. But animation I, also sucks. Yeah. But it, it, I, I love I animation. Like the, I do it, but it's the, hard to make. In my opinion, this is not, not, not to discredit anything. In my opinion, I think that animation is more signature though. You know what I'm saying? Like it has, it's a, your more unique art. to you. Yeah. That's what I, uh, yeah, basically. Um, True. Yeah. I mean, but I, I, I also hated, I, I made a f very few and I hate, that was my least favorite part every time. Um, I have, I have a great question and I love this question because it is, a, it is awesome. It is a great, awesome. Just a perfect question, actually. Uh, why? <laughs> Halo and not another game. And I have my reason as to what I think it would be, but I want to hear uh, either of you guys' opinions on that. Why Halo? I know Halo. why I did it, but... Yeah. Only, let's see, you might have a shorter answer than me, because I have I have a couple, because I've looked at other games. I've can, I've actually considered other games a lot, too. But why did you choose Halo, Zach? Yeah, we, we considered other games, too. I think we uploaded one GTA Machinima at one point, but, like... I liked Halo. I played Halo. And then also in terms of talking about views and stuff, people had always been making Halo machinimas. You know what I mean? Like there was a viewership for it there. You could put Halo machinima in a title. And then back in the day, people would know what that meant and would click on it. Yeah. Yep. So, but I love yeah. Halo. I still love Halo. So I, uh, I, I, I grew up like I was a huge Halo fan. I was a huge red versus blue fan. And it's just, it's just what I wanted to do. And like, as I got through, as I got through making it, I did look at other games. I considered Minecraft, but it was just like, it just doesn't feel the same. It looks, it, Minecraft Machine just looks weird. It's it's blocky. The animations aren't as, it's like, I'm not going to say as, I guess, good, but like, you don't have anything to, like, if you bob heads in Minecraft, that looks fucking ridiculous. Yeah. For some reason, because we've grew, I grew up watching Halo, it just doesn't. Yeah. Um, I considered GTA, but then it was just like, well, I have to learn a new engine, body actors, and then um, another big thing was having all the fucking money to buy all the stuff. Right. Um, and even sure now, turns. I'm not. I'm genuinely. I would say I'm not a huge Halo fan. I think Halo Infinite kind of the story and the engine has been very frustrating. So, mm -hmm. but for machinima purposes, it's unusable. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, but I would still say, just like Reach and stuff in MCC, I just think the game just it just offers a lot for machinima. It just. It, it would because of Rooster Teeth. It's it's kind of theater mode and everything is kind of made for it. So it just it just works the easiest. So my theory. The <laughs> what? What's what's matter? 
I was gonna say I was gonna make a joke. Is there an alternate universe with Minecraft machinimas that you would have been one of those guys making parody YouTube SFM Minecraft uh, videos? I'd be doing better if I did. <laughs> you probably would be. I right. say it's more successful. I made I made a few of those. I mean, I not not like in depth, but I, I fucked around with the with the uh, my my animator the or whatever. It was animators. Yeah. yeah. Um. My theory. So. How much? Okay, now this is gonna get kind of in the weeds for a second. How much RVB did you watch, Isaiah? All of I, I still I still keep up with it, even though okay. no one, it's pretty dead. So Zach, how much RVB did you watch, or do you watch? I watched like the first couple seasons back in the day. How many is couple? It did very very I much depends I, on what so, I'm gonna say. So long ago and so little, I don't remember. I remember the. Uh, Tex fight scene in Halo 3 Foundry okay. when that first came yeah. out, and that was kind of it. Okay. So I think that the, the, what, oh my God, I, I'm going to be, I'm so bad at remembering the names of things. The, is it the reconstruction arc? Season six, seven, and eight? Is, am, is, am I thinking of remembering the name right? That's it. With, that, that's, um, I think, I think season six is just season six, seven is reconstruct. I know, right. I know, yeah, it's I know. Hard. They, they really pick yeah. the weird names for me. I'll just I think up. I think seasons six, seven, and eight are some of the best machinima that has ever been created. I think that is incredible. The only problem I have is when there are faces because it's a bit jarring. What it, it comes? Oh, up. I vaguely remember yeah. the, the weird animated faces and everything. Okay, I think the reason that Halo works so well and is so not jarring to anybody, obviously because of RVB ha- having its stake. You know, in that, and also because there's no face that you have to kind of disconnect from, because it's behind obviously a visor, so you don't have to, you don't have to like animating faces is very hard. I'm sure. I mean, this is a very very obvious thing. Animating faces are very hard, and if like in Fortnite, if you were you Fortnite has a great theater the theater mode. Oh, and if I, were, I did consider Fortnite too for a bit. Go continue. I was just yeah, Fortnite yeah, yeah. is. Man, a good mission engine it, it's so great but the faces don't move and that would take me out me personally maybe maybe i'm a, the minority in this but take me out completely as soon as i see like that's why i think that's why the strangerhood I, i'm sorry we're like talking this is so deep in the weeds with rt talk but i think that's why the strangerhood didn't really take off is because of the faces and they were going ah oh ah like with the weird fucking sims an, a, animations it was just it's just odd it was, it, I think adding faces to a machinima makes it much more jarring than than not having I, them. I think you are 100% right. That's like, I think that's so true that that's not like we can, and because we we know Halo and stuff, especially, we can look look at that and say, oh yeah, suit of armor. So we don't yeah. need to see their face. It makes it exactly. easier. You can, you can imagine them talking because people talk in armor. But the crazy thing about that is I would say that's also like the biggest barrier too. People just... If they don't know Halo, they just don't get it. Like I can like show, my dad. yeah, yeah. I, I've I've tried to explain to my mom. Yeah, look, I do this. It's like it, it makes me money. I'm I'm pretty good at it. But she'll just look and just so it's a, like a, a video game thing. It's like no, look, I have camera angles. There's dialogue. There's a story. Why are they in armor? It's like just just yeah. what yeah, the it's, show. It's not important. Yeah, you don't understand. <laughs> I have that story though. I, I've said it on the show, and I've said it to you as a before too. Of I had my whole video editing portfolio in Halo Machinima work and I applied for video editing jobs and I went to like real studios and I sat in front of HR managers that just pulled up a laptop and watched my Halo Machinimas and were like, what the fuck is this? I mean, not, not like that, oh, but you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like it was very clear that they were like, uh, what is video game stuff? Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty frustrating to be honest for me because it's like, that's what I'm good at. That's what I can edit. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm working on freelancing now to build my portfolio, but like nine years of experience editing, I'm a good editor. Like I do all my own sound effects. I do all the footage. Like, I mean, I would just say my sound effect game is on point. Like I just, it's, it's good. After nine but years. Like, yeah. I imagine. But, but if I show it to someone, it's just like, they would, I just don't, I'm just always, it's like in the back of my head, I just have to be worried. They're not going to pay attention to the editing. Mm-hmm. They're going to wonder what the fuck the, the guy's doing in the suit of armor, aren't they? And it's just mm-hmm. like, I just hate it. It's, it's, so- it's hard too for those people to separate like what is the video game and what did you do separately right like especially when you take it to such a higher level when you're doing all of these extra like animations 
yourself that are genuinely like animated. You you guys are animating everything. But if I was to show that to like some random people on the street, they'd be like, yeah, this is just some video game you recorded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't understand yeah. how elevated this thing actually is. And that, and I mean, I think, I think that's just a normal, you know, like human trait is to just, you know, to immediately dismiss something they don't understand. And like, if, you know, if, I don't know, I, it, it I think, I, I see because I've made YouTube for videos for so long as in freaking as they are. Uh, and I think I, that's like my whole bubble is like my all my friends want to make con- or make content or want to make content or have made content. And I like like making content. So my whole like. Every uh, a lot of the stuff that we do are all revolves around YouTube in some way. So. I, I, and it's weird to think that that isn't a normal thing, but it really, it really just isn't like not. And the, the, I, if I walked up to, to people and show them Halo, I would say like eighty percent of them will be like, "Who the what the fuck are you showing me? Like what what I don't know what this is." You know what I mean? I think half of people in America have some understanding of what Halo is, even though they might not understand what's going on on the screen. You think half? I I, I would not say half. I would. Say I think half, if you if you were to show people a picture of Master Chief. And you showed half of Americans that photo. I bet they they'd would be know like, the name oh, yeah. Master Chief, or they would be like Halo. They'd call him. They'd say that's Mister Halo. Yeah. Mister Halo. Okay. I said that's Mister Halo. Yeah. I would say it's a lot less, but I. I, I but I I'd also I. We gotta get we gotta get a, a sample size. We gotta get a sample. A sample we gotta get a poll going. Yeah. Um, God, I wish I had a cameraman near me because I'd have someone film me with a clipboard on the street of downtown Phoenix. Going, can you? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I wonder who is the most like rec- rec- Is it Mickey Mouse? Is like the most rec- recognizable mascot? Oh, um, I don't know about in the world, but Mickey Mouse is certainly. I know up Hello there. Kitty. Pe- like J- Japan is huge into Mickey Hello Mouse Kitty. is more than Hello Kitty. It's more recognizable it brand. Is. I don't know about. I don't know about Japan. Japan I think is Disney's all about a Hello pretty. Yeah. yeah, but Japan. But like, what about like Russia? Are they going to know Hello Kitty or Mickey Mouse? They're probably more. I don't know. Going to know Mickey Mouse. I don't, do they show either of them? About anymore? Sweden, they're not Hello Kittying everything, but there's. Hmm? Do people? Is Hello Kitty? I mean, I know it's still a thing, but when's the last time you saw Hello Kitty? In America, never. But I, I could, I, I think anybody could recognize Hello Kitty. Am I wrong? Oh, yeah, okay, definitely recognize. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. When was the last Hello Kitty thing? It's more of like a brand now. I think I just looked it up on their website. There's uh, Hello Kitty's official website. They're selling. Hello Kitty shaped onions and apples. New bit, new bit idea, new content. It was just buy Hello Kitty f- yeah. produce. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, bizarre. Well, it, it, yeah, I don't know. It's always a, like, I I feel like only 50% of people, you know, oh no, no, wait, what did I say? Well, 80% of people would not recognize Master Chief. Maybe I'm wrong. Or, or, or recognize him as the Halo guy. But like, you know, it's always a question of like, who's the biggest? Like, would people recognize mario over pikachu you know i don't know um i don't know why i brought that up why did i bring that up i would say pikachu i think pokemon is actually like one of the like it, it i think Pikachu's it's a good example people don't know pikachu's name that's the problem they know pokemon they don't know pikachu off you know if they don't if they if they're very unsure they'll just say pokemon they won't they don't they don't know pikachu's name yeah i'd agree with that yeah um but i i i that i think that's all we you know have for I mean, I, I, I'm I'm ready to wrap up if you guys got nothing else. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't really have a plan for this. So talking about YouTube shit for a while, I'm sure some people would actually get some 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 good info from that. Yeah, that was really fun. I, I never get to talk about it. no one other. Like, yeah, that's one of the reasons uh, when we first met, I always liked Zach because because he was like the one guy I could like just talk editing to because he was the editor. For up there. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, you know, I love Ethan, but it's just like it was always Zach who was like, yeah, yeah, you edit YouTube C- SEO and editing. Yeah. So that was yeah. really fun. I like yeah. to get in the weeds with shit. Yeah. And Zach is actually really great because he's also not not. Because we lead Talk the ship. More. I'm just sucking Praise your cock more. right now, dude. So this ship, I kind of, I, I kind of, I threw the idea at you, and you, and you, you know, couldn't do it, and then you could do it. Um, and you're working, you're working on parts. I was like, I want you to be able to just not do anything, show up on a, on a, every other Friday, and just t- shoot the shit for an hour to two hours. That's all I wanted. 
And Zach has gone above and beyond and done a bunch of SEO shit. You know, he's on the, he, he had the ideas for the. If, the, I, if the, I buy the into something, like like I say, you know, if I get an idea to do something, I'm going to do it. Like it's just going to get done. No, no matter who watches it, no matter how much time or money it costs me to do, if I have an idea in my head and I like it, I'm going to do it. And, so. that, and, and that's great to, because I genuinely want you to be the co-host in name and be able to do your own thing all the other time. And you, like you said, bought into it and you're going him. And that is an incredible thing that you that you do and that you don't need to do. Isaiah, I'm a dumbass. Uh, I, I, I'm still using Sony Vegas and oh, it. God. It, it crap. I'll give him this. I said the same thing. If you actually watch the way he edits this stuff, it like is very good. Like I actually really appreciate the way he edits. Things. Things. Like, I don't. I'm not. I, I, I I'm just surprised. I, I don't yeah. like, like whatever editing program works for you. No fucking shame. Because no. fuck Adobe and yeah. making me pay twenty thirty like thirty. I told you should pirate Adobe. I yeah. should. It's like it's fucked up. They're they're prize. They're they're fuck Adobe. So so I use I use. Uh, a completely legally obtained version of Vegas, and it's because it's all I've I've used. I used seven in when I was in high school. Like I used Vegas seven in high school. Like I've always used Vegas. Um, so it's just, it's just I'm just familiar with it, but I it it keeps having issues where the renders crash, which is the most annoying because you'll be like eight hours into a render and it crashes, and then all that eight hours is for nothing. Um. So I'd be having errors, errors rendering videos, not so much editing, just the rendering portion of the videos is, is a problem. But I do, I do squeeze out every little drop of edit of milk that I can out of, uh, of Vegas. Um, why did wait? Why did we? Why were we saying that? Um, he was talking. He was just wanting to know when this got posted, and he was it'll talking be, about yeah, putting it in next, his Discord or something. Next Friday, given that it gets it out on time, works. Yeah, either next Friday or next Monday. One of right. the two. Right. It's either going to be Friday wrong. or Monday. There's no shot in hell it's going to be after Monday, though. I will okay. I will die first. I'll t- I'm telling you right now. And you can timestamp the part where you come in, too, so people yeah. don't yeah. look at I'm it. Try, I'm trying to upload a video next week, so I'll make sure to mention it in that. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Um, what? But cool, there's cool. one other thing, and I'm fucking pissed because I always forget. I had, I had like, a, this weird back topic in the back of my mind in case... Um, in case we just didn't have anything to talk about and it never got brought up and i'm kind of thankful it didn't because i feel like it's a little lame but i got in the fucking argument i think in the last episode too we were talking about hate comments we were getting very funny and i mentioned too like you have to be such a fucking loser to like get angry in comment sections on the internet and then somehow this morning i got in a argument on a tiktok comment section um, oh no! It's which always is the worst. E- somehow even more frustrating because they l- severely limit the characters you have. And the debate I was having was on like walkable cities. Like you, you see these videos get posted on like um, TikTok, Twitter, or whatever, where people are complaining that the cities aren't walkable in America mm-hmm. and comparing them to European cities. Right? There's um this fucking guy posted about um it's literally just a highway. I think Ethan even says he drives through it. Um, it it's like literally one of those like roadside stop towns off of a highway and this tiktok video was complaining about this one specific town not being walkable and i was like okay this makes sense if you're talking about like houston or denver or something but this is literally like a roadside stop town it doesn't make sense to spend all of the money to build some weird ass hipster downtown strip that no one's gonna ever go to it's like yeah if there was something for people to go there they, they would but the whole economy of the place revolves around people driving through it getting gas and food and staying overnight and go that's what feeds the town and then all these people were like but people live there too and i'm like yeah but the people that fucking live there have like lots of land and shit or they commute in yeah, like they a don't weird like, argument yeah and i don't know i i won't get into it too much on here i just think it was interesting how like last episode i was like you have to be a fucking loser to argue with people on the internet like that and then this morning i was so fucking angry at these losers being like but those people there deserve to have walkable downtown restaurants and everything else. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a rest stop <laughs> just in so, Pennsylvania. So pissed. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, well, dude, we had something to talk about and you got to, to settle your Discord, uh, you know, beef, <laughs> your one-sided Discord beef. <laughs> My one-sided TikTok beef? Or the TikTok beef. I'm dumb as shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, well... um. Uh, thank you, uh, Isaiah, for joining. You're always invited. If you do, if you see Thanks, us in here at any point, dude, I tell us to everybody, and you're you're included. 
you at any point you see us in here, it is an open invite. Come whatever. I don't I do not care. Yeah, this is an open care. invite to, yeah. to to everyone. Anybody. So it's I up had a great to you. time. That was that was some good conversation. Yeah, anytime. We're we're always what every other Friday most of the time. Most every other Friday. <laughs> well, next Friday is my birthday, so I won't I won't be here. The next we'll figure other out Friday. another time to record. Yeah. The next other Friday. Yeah. But we'll figure out either we'll record next Friday or one of the days around it. We'll figure it out. And I'll record and edit and re- render the same night. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, that's not <laughs> happening. All right. Uh good talk, boys. Uh, how do I end a podcast? I I do it. I do. I have to do this bit. How do I end a podcast? Uh, we need to come up with some kind of cult chant. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. Peanut, Peanut is, a, is car. a car. Peanut is a car. <sighs>